and hello. Greetings. Already have oh. some. Okay. Danke. Bitte. Uh, so we are just getting set up, ready to start tearing apart our shower. And yay uh, us. Yep, yay us. And um, yeah, we're gonna tear it apart, take all the walls down, strip all the sealant and caulk and everything, uh, clean it with uh, some alcohol so that the old caulk or the new caulk adheres well, and um, put it all back together. I know this sounds crazy exciting, and I, I hope you can you know contain the suspense. Uh, but we thought maybe other RVers uh, might get something out of this, uh, being able to see how it's done, whatever. Uh, you're currently on, you're stuck to our vanity mirror, yep. um, and wide angle camera view, so you can see the shower, um, you can see my lovely wife Lenan, my assistant. Um, all the glass doors and all the trim and everything are going to go over onto the bed. We have uh, a plastic drop cloth yep, on the bed. We have a plastic covering on that just to protect it. We've already taken all the sheets and everything off, so um, the only thing there right now is actually just a, a bed protector because we have pets and accidents happen. So uh, we left that on there. We put the uh, plastic on there just to protect it from any gunk. As It doesn't matter how clean you keep your shower, there's going to be gunk down in the cracks and crevices. And so nasty. that's going to have to get cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be cleaning that. Um, and you're, you're welcome to come over and help. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no. No, COVID. COVID. Pandemic. No. We'll yeah. leave. You can come and clean <laughs> and do this. Yeah, you can come do it. We'll leave. Let us know when it's done. Um, this is probably the sixth or eighth time that I've done this. Uh, not because it's happened over that many periods of times, but in each instance, most instances, I've had to take it apart and redo it multiple times just to get it sealed and it's a real pain in the butt. Um, so this time I think I've learned enough from the process. I'll be able to do it right the first time. Hopefully we shall see. Um, we also have masking tape for uh, taking care of masking off where the caulk is going to go so I can get a good finish, a good appearance to the caulk. And we um, have the silicone. Yep, we do have uh, advanced silicone. Uh, this is the GE brand. I'm sure any other will work fine. But this is advanced kitchen and bath. Uh, it's supposed to be 40% more flexible, five times stronger adhesion, which will be fun for the next time I have to do this. And it also is supposed to have 35%, um, I read on the box at the store, 35% better expansion uh, capability. So for an RV where things are bouncing down the highway and uh, things shift and tweak, twist and torque, uh, it's probably going to be good to have something that can withstand that expansion while you're in motion. Um, we'll see, you know, uh, best you can do. Um, so the other things I have, um, a Phillips screwdriver, and I'm actually going to go grab my screw gun, which I forgot to grab before this started. Uh, wet dry vac, because you want to be able to suck water out of all the cracks and crevices before you put the new sealant in, that way it adheres well, and you're not trapping moisture that has to go out through wood or whatever else. Um, I have uh, plenty O razor blades and a scraper. And I also turn have- the fan off? I opened the oh, bedroom window. Yeah, yeah, that's, cut down on. Sorry, yep, we'll get the We tried to cool it off, off a little bit before we got um, I also have a utility knife that is very, very sharp and several blades for that too. So that will be my arsenal of repair or removing the old caulk forgot to get one thing. I've got an old chisel that I use just for beating up when I need it. And um, these uh, aluminum tracks, they have a channel in the bottom that you, you know, plaster full of silicone so that it doesn't leak through. Um, and that chisel is extremely handy for taking all that out. What you do and I was gonna go in here and get. You need to go get the chisel. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you didn't have it anymore. I was no, I have it. it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's just in the storage. Okay. Uh, so I'm almost ready to start. Almost, almost. Uh, so I'm gonna actually mute and um, leave you with the lovely assistant to entertain you, you and entertain yourselves. Um, 
<laughs> hey, Eminem and the gang. Uh, thanks for joining. So I'm going to go grab the last two tools that I'd forgotten until I was just doing this rundown, and I will be right back. So now they're just stuck with me. Yep. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is our bathroom. The six different times that Michael said we had to do this, um, to be clear, only like two of those times there was a leak. And it's not something that is, you know, um, a big problem with RVs over houses. Everybody experiences leaky showers. It, it doesn't, it crosses every type of abode you may have. So it's just one of the things that it's really helpful if you're handy enough to get, I'm gonna make sure I'm not muted, okay. Um, you know, if you're handy, you can get your hands on stuff and you can fix it yourself. You don't have to worry about taking it in. Um, Michael has set up and he'll tell you more about it um, because it's IOT and it's Michael. Um, we have leak detectors. So if the dishwasher should overflow or the washing machine or the shower should leak, it lets us know right away. And so we're very lucky in that we caught it and Michael knows how to fix it. So yeah, so here we are spending a, a Saturday. Happy New Year. Um, like I said, we have the, the plastic down on the, on the purple pillow or the purple mattress. And yeah, the shower is Corian-ish, uh, whatever Tiffin, whatever brand they use and it's in pieces so it's not a one piece so that's why it takes so much silicone and everything else and he's back so yay hello so yeah it is actually Corian it is the the official Corian material um, and it's put together at the factory with a, a two-part epoxy sealant I think it is uh, or it's some sort of a hard epoxy that's supposed to really bond things but because it's hard, it doesn't really twist and flex well. And um, it flakes. And it flakes off, and the hot and cold cycles from the shower tend to deteriorate it as well. We've got the same issue in the kitchen sink and in the bathroom sinks, they're all molded Corian. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. Um, David Daughtry would like to know, can you show what in the shower you're fixing? Um, so, yeah, well, I can describe it real quick. Um, Basically, well, actually, I can show it. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. I, I envisioned needing to go mobile with the video capture, so uh, just a second here. I'm surprised you don't have that uh, scope camera. Nah. Facing back, good. Turn it sideways, good. Oh. It's riveting. I know, it, it's it's a thrill a minute here. <laughs> you guys could be watching Turner Classic Movies. Oh. Hey, we got one thumbs up. Wow. Yay, for Man, you guys are shower. really, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's hung over still from the new year. Somebody is desperate for entertainment. Turn sideways. Hey, there we go. Okay, so here we go. I hope it's not capturing on. Okay, good, yep. Yeah. Uh, so hey, look at this. You're in the shower with Michael, woo. Um, so this area right in here is the problem area. Um, it's where this track comes in and meets this wall. There's a little bit of a gap there so that it doesn't cut too much into the silicone, um, but it does anyway. Um, and basically what happens is, this uh, is kind of a, an H shaped channel. So there's a void in the bottom and a void in the top. And I'll, I can show that later in As the stream. We go. Yeah, once I get things taken apart. But, um, so water comes down into these areas alongside the glass and back here as well and it flows inside the top section of that H and sometimes it can drop down into the bottom section. There's also weep holes here so that it can come out uh, and into the shower itself instead of overflowing and going outside. 
but um, those are generally not enough to prevent it from going, kind of filling the whole channel. And there's another weep hole there and there. But, so water ends up over in this area, sorry, uh, a lot. And um, yeah, if there's any deterioration of the caulk in that area, the sealant in those areas, then it actually leaks down through inside this cavity in the shower and through underneath. Um, I've had it happen enough to where I actually put a leak detector uh, up under that area so that it alerts me whenever it's happening. And I told him about the leak detector oh. we have for the washing machine. Yep. And the, yeah, so it, it gives us a nice... Yeah, I think you're probably a little quiet on the audio, by oh. the way. So I need to um, yell more? Is that yeah, a little oh. louder. Right. Anyway, um, so what we end up doing is uh, we take a piece of t um, paper towel and we stick it up under this. There's a little bit of a gap here and that helps us to wick it away when we're showering before we get a chance to tear it all apart like we're getting ready to do. Um, and we also use that as a telltale uh, if we think that maybe it's time to do a repair, we'll start doing that w when we shower. And if that comes out wet, then we know that we've got a leak starting, even if the um, the leak detector hasn't gone off yet. So that's what we're doing today. I, I'm literally gonna tear all of this out and strip it all, re it, all that fun stuff. You're gonna catch Michael stripping. Um, so David, Dowdy says, I'm updating work computers, VMs, so you have a captive watcher. Hey, good times. And Eminem said, I gave you all a thumbs up. Thank you very and much. And Augusto's wishing us Happy New Year. Hey, Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year. Augusto. Happy 2021 to everyone. Yes, 2021. All I right. know it's just another day past 2020, but there's, there's a lot of hope involved in 2021. It, it's a low bar to be better. <laughs> it is a low bar to be better, but please let it be better. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a shorter, yep. Or use the manual one for that. Um, another just pro tip, just so you don't lose things. Um, I'm gonna be working around our sinks here in the bathroom. So I close the drain on the sinks so that screws, if they happen to fall down into the sink, don't go missing and have to be fished out of a, mm. a P-trap or something. And I'm just going to step out of his way. Can can y'all hear me okay, or do I need to actually yell? Because I hate to yell. John says use your telescope to find the link. <laughs> Leak, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That'd be a bit tight squeeze to get all that in here. Okay. Uh, can you grab the flat screwdriver? Actually, I've got one on my pocket. Uh, I can go ahead and grab the flat there. screwdriver for me. While she's doing that, I'll take out more screws. So this um, glass shower wrap that Tiffin used is all encased in aluminum so that it, it can't rust or anything, um, which makes it also super light. And then they use these little teeny tiny, I don't know if you can even see them, but they're little teeny tiny short self-tapping stainless steel screws to hold the whole thing together. Don't cushion. And I am going to put a lone paper towel in each sink because there is a lip on our, what do you call it? It's not a plunger, is it? Um, the drain. The drain cover. There's a lip and the screws are small enough that just having something there to keep them from being a pain to scoop out. So uh, the other thing, the glass panels are held into that H channel with these little plastic rubber strips. Um, so when you're taking it apart, you have to pull these out in order to free the glass and the aluminum from the aluminum. And so. we'll clean those with alcohol before we put them back in to get yes. down into Actually, everything. I'm going to take this these off. Okay. These are little towel holders that we use, but um, just to prevent it from poking through the bed, when we take this loose. Okay, so where do you need me to start? You're fine over there. Okay. I just didn't know if uh, 
You need extra hands. Nope. I will let you know. All right, so this top one should be free. Indeed it is. All right, you oh. really need to stay back. <laughs> I was trying to check the chat, which was supposed to be my job. I'll get it, you come do okay. your thing. Uh, aluminum channel, here you can see that H profile like I was talking about. Um, I guess the bottom side of this one is actually different. So these are a little different than the bottom ones. Uh, yeah, because the bottom, this area here, which is really shallow on, on top, I think it's deeper in the bottom, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Uh, this one I don't need to tear down any further, so I'm just gonna move it off to the side. And I'm gonna grab the tablet. And get my stuff so I don't accidentally get jabbed in the eyeball like what just almost happened. Yep. All right, so I've taken the screws out of this piece as well. And this is free floating, uh, and it doesn't come pre-drilled from the factory or from the manufacturer of the shower surround. Um, it relies on the self-tapping, but it gives adjustments so that you can make it look square inside and make sure the, the door seals properly. So that's why it's uh, easy to remove. It does have three screws in it that I've already taken out. Did I take that bottom one out? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, the other thing too is you gotta be real careful not to strip these screws because it is aluminum. So you can easily uh, strip out that aluminum. There we go. All right, so, ow. What I did there was I just pulled the channel out after I unscrewed the top and bottom and I left the rubber gasket material in place. So I'll pull that out next. It would have been easier to remove if I pulled this out first, but usually it's a real, real pain to get these things out of the glass. It's a real big pain putting them into the glass after you're done too. All right. So I will actually try to remove the rubber gasket along the back wall here. Okay. Now I'm completely out of your way. And once one side's done, you can push the glass over and easily extract, usually, <laughs> the other side. Famous last words. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna close this over and then grab this big sheet of glass and come in there. So okay. I need you back, back against that wall. Do you need me to be nope, ready to help just you? just need you back okay. against that wall. Just making sure. Oh, wait. I didn't pull out the rubber along the bottom yet. Let me pull this one. And David, he does have a Leatherman on his hip. It was just easier for me to grab the big screwdriver than to him to fumble with it, but he doesn't go anywhere without yeah. the Leatherman. <laughs> Leatherman on the on my hip and a uh, uh, Swiss Army Knicks. knife in my watch, or in my pocket. Is it Victor Knox? Is that Victor Knox. Victor Knox? Yeah. Swiss Army knife. And he's had that thing for a good 20 years too. Yep. I need you up in that hole. Thank you. Now we're gonna pick it up and move it on back that way. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's one side down. Now the door, and I will need you over here for this part. 
So the door is also only held in place by three screws. And once those screws come out, it is gonna wanna fall over. Mm -hmm. So I just need you to, to hold that. Yep. Is this safe to hold it It on is, this? yeah. Okay. Actually step around this way. Okay. And that'll give you leverage to push against it to keep it up against the wall. Okay. For some reason, I thought there were four screws on this. Nope. Just the three. All right, I'm going to set those there. Okay. All right, turn loose and step away. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is actually heavier than that other glass, which is kind of crazy. I think we need, because of the, okay. I just thought last time we yeah. flipped it, so it. We should have put that over here and that over there, but. Yeah. Say lovey. Plans. All right. So all the glass is gone now. Um, I'm going to slide it a little bit, though. Don't. Please don't. I just It'll don't just tear wanna... it. Okay. It just feels like a stabbing waiting to happen. Yep. That's why I'm moving it. Okay. Okay. Now we can disconnect or unscrew these from the walls and then unscrew this channel and then we can slide this little tray out, this protector trim piece, whatever you want to call it. Oh, from over here. Uh, let's see. John Bloxham says yesterday and today he's been sanitizing his fresh water tank for starting the trip on Wednesday. Ah, that's and always fun. <laughs> David Darty says every guy needs a Leatherman within reach 24-7. Agreed. Absolutely. Women too. My mom used to carry hers. In fact, I still have it. Um, that with a roll of duct tape in her back pocket. And Roy Simpson wants to know, how often do we do this? Um, well, if we got it right the first time, not very often. Uh, but usually we end up, historically I've redone it a couple of times each time I've had to tear it apart. Uh, because I miss one thing or another, but hopefully this time is better than uh, previous times. But usually, we've had the coach five years, and I think we've had a new leak that wasn't a result of my miscalking uh, maybe three times. Yeah, twice With, or three times. Yeah. Three times tops. Yeah, I think three times, because the first time, actually, we took it to Tiffin, and they didn't understand um, at that time that it was leaking down through the shower. They thought it was the um, Hepvo trap underneath. So they went through the process of repairing and replacing all that. So as soon as we pulled out, I stripped it all down and redid it anyway. Um, but we were there for other stuff, so. All right. So these are a real pain because they're siliconed against the shower. And we have uh, 12 people watching now. Hey, wow. So just want to welcome you all. Um, yep. For those of us that just joined us, Michael's tearing down the shower so we can reseal it because the silicone has degraded enough that it's allowing water to seep down under the shower. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, close enough. And I'm off camera to give him as much space as he has. So. Yeah, anytime I start wielding knives, and it's, good bits. To, <laughs> it's good to uh, stay away. There we go, much better. Oh, haha, ha, there's still a screw. Can you hand me that screwdriver? I thought there were four. Well, there's one that holds this piece into the bottom. Ah, that must be where the fourth one in my head was coming from. Dunk cushion. Hey, look at that. Came right out that time. All right, so this is part of what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can even see on camera. Um, there's a channel back here that you shoot full of 
caulk so that it seals against the wall and doesn't let water pass from the shower outside of the shower. So that'll be one thing that we're cleaning out. I don't think this oh. is narrow enough. Nope. I've, I've got a plastic one. Okay. Um, Roy says, thanks for the real life look into RV full time. Sure. Can't, September can't come fast enough. Yeah. This, I mean, this type of thing happens no matter what type of abode you have. And it's, you know, RVs have that, the extra issue of going down the road at 60 miles an hour, you know, basically a tornado and a hurricane, hurricane all at the same time. And an earthquake. And an earthquake. Um, so to dismiss the build quality because there's something like a leak in the shower for specific brands or, you know, um, it happens to everybody. Yep. And whether you're in a house, a million dollar home, leaks happen, stuff happens. And yep. We're and just most caulk even is only rated for five to 10 years. Some outside caulk is rated up to 25 years, I think. So you, you will have deterioration and leaks that need to be taken care of. Okay, now I can take apart the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot of water trapped in here. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, all the aluminum screws that go directly into the aluminum channel are super, super short. The ones going into this wall are long. The ones going into the bottom are long. The ones going into the back wall are longest. So you want to make sure that you're keeping track uh, just so you don't like use one of the longest screws and put it through here and end up going through this wood and into the door on the other side. That'd be bad. Oh yeah. That's a uh, spacer that just fell out. That holds the uh, glass up off the bottom of the channel. Oh, I guess that lower piece is fairly shallow. Good. Okay. And then we can slide this trim piece out. So this just um, hides the the top part of that H channel uh, on the threshold where you step in and out of the shower. So it gives it a nice finished look and it's in need of cleaning as well. You're giving him a little plumber's crack from that angle. Oh, was I? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. No one needs a crack in the morning or afternoon or evening or evening or any time really. The other thing that I noticed on ours is it looks as though when they put it together they didn't hit the angle that they wanted the first time when they put a screw in. Um, where was it? Oh, I think it was this screw here. So there's actually two screw holes side by side, which means, which is probably the reason it leaks more than any place else. Um, but it's uh, something you got to remember when you're putting it back together so that you get it in the right hole and your shower lines up properly. Okay. Okay. Now all that's left to do is the hard part, <laughs> which is getting rid of all the sealant that's still there so that the new sealant will actually stick to it. And I like to use fresh brand new blades even though I know they're going to get really chowdered up really quickly. Um, clean or nice, fresh, pristine blades will minimize the gouging on the Corian. Um, there's going to be some scuffing and scratching on the Corian no matter what you do. Uh, it's just a matter of how particular you are about it. You could technically um, rebuff it after you get all the sealant out. But man, that would make this job take so much longer than it already does. Uh, the other thing is, don't just throw your razor blades, old blades, in the trash. 
that could cut someone that's handling your trash down the road. Um, we put them in a sharps container and uh, find Do we some have a place. Sharps container up here? Not up here. I'm just putting. It's fine. I'm just laying them, lay them here in the okay. same area, and then we'll collect them all at the end. Let's see. And while he's doing that, I believe my job is to start scraping off all this extra that's in this channel and then to get bleach cleaner and paper towels and really get all the mold and ick out of the rubber gaskets. Yep, that's a good so idea. His metal chisel will not fit, so I have a heavy um, duty. It will on these. On those, but yeah, not on the Yeah, but not on the thin one. Thin yeah. ones? Okay. So and I have my Leatherman. Yay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start. I should probably get gloves. And uh, I do have a trash bin over here that I can pitch this off into as I scrape it. John Bloxham says this will teach you to buy a newer Tiffin motorhome. You get a 2000 like mine and your shower won't leak. Yeah. I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's just one of those things, no matter what you have, basically, at some point you're going to have leaks that need to be taken care of. And... Uh, I'd rather have a leaky shower that I can identify quickly. The first time we did not, and it actually caused some... Uh, wood warpage. Yeah, wood damage that I ended up pulling up that toilet and uh, leaving it open for a few days with a heater blasting in here so it would dry. And then uh, putting in some uh, wood repair filler that that stiffened the wood, that made it firm again. and then some filler itself to put more volume into that wood area and then put it all back together. Seems that this one fit in the wide channel. Yeah, so it should fit it. in the wide channel, yeah. Yeah, um, that's working much better. Okay, good. Once you get up under it, it pulls off fairly easy. But yeah, the problem, well, that is never gonna come perfectly clean. Right. Uh, but, but this is, um, a pain in the butt because there's always some little bit of residue and I thought I had mineral spirits which is uh, good for cleaning silicone caulk uh, but I couldn't find it this morning which is a shame because I was just at Home Depot buying the new caulk to put this shower back together um, it's always good to keep a tube or two of caulk around just in case you have something like this happen while you're on the road and not near a place that has supplies. Um, and I did have three spare tubes, but I bought them at the time that I did this way many years ago and ended up having them too long, so they went bad. They yellowed and uh, the bottom, I'm gonna pull this over here towards me. Uh, the bottom of the caulk tube had actually popped out so it let air into the caulk and uh, yeah it turns out they doesn't like it when you do that solidify when you do that yeah Augusto would like to know what our opinion is on the Thor purchase of Tiffin oh wow going right for the deep topics um, I am sad to see it happen uh, because uh, I feel like Tiffin could have maintained their level of quality without Thor. But um, seeing how Thor has handled other purchases, they actually purchased the RV company that made our fifth wheel back when we had it, after we bought it, so we didn't have to worry about their influence. But basically they are... Uh, they do try to stay hands-off. Um, I think they 
are a good source of capital whenever an expansion is needed for a plant or something like that. And eventually there will be some uh, possibly change in materials or something, but that, they usually wait a while before they start doing that sort of thing just so it, it does give the uh, appearance that they haven't changed anything. So my, my guess, my theory is at this point still Tiffin is the RV company we would go with if we were in the market for a new RV even now and in the next five years or so. Um, after that we would just reevaluate just like we would at any other time after there's been a lot of time changed. I will say that I'm um, hopeful that their Tiffin's Class C has a more modern interior, a more minimalist, a lot of smooth surfaces, not a lot of uh, bric-a-brac dust catchers. Um, so I am hopeful that it, and this has nothing to do with Thor purchasing it. I am hopeful that the next time that we want to buy a, a coach, that there will be more interior options that fit our style. More modern. More modern. And like, I just, I feel like every large RV, except for Prevo and maybe Newell, like at any moment there could be a doily explosion. And you know, it's, like my grandmother's house all over again with dusty rose and powder blue and and if that's your thing paper cozies so be it but we'd like for there to be options for people who that is not their thing right but if it's a a flat more modern if you want doilies or you you know you want that you can add it when it's already added it's very hard to take it away yep so and we have all the babies locked out of here so nobody's going to get a mouthful of silicone or except maybe us except for maybe us yeah So I really hate applying caulk on the best of days, but uh, this is especially a pain in the butt when you have to re-caulk. Right. Red Jag is joined. Hey, good morning, Red Jag, or afternoon. Yeah, it is even afternoon here. Holy cow. Yep, day's just slipping right on by. Yep. So. Whenever I have to redo this, I also take the opportunity to redo the interior caulk around the, the floor pan um, because that too had flecked out and deteriorated since we bought it. The stuff in the vertical seams in the back has seemed to hold up okay, uh, but the, the floor pan area has been really not as good. So I'm really trying not to uh, expose you all to plumber's crack here so we'll we'll see how this goes and I'm trying to keep up with chats and questions but I'm up to my wrists and silicone and decaulking decaulking and trying to get as much as I can off in the first pass so when Michael has to get all the little bits off as he goes he has less bulk to deal with. I uh, Back to the Thor buying Tiffin thing, I really think David's take on it is pretty good. Um, David if, Bott. Yeah, David Bott if you've not watched his video on it. Um, I feel like it's a good move for Bob to be able to get a lot of stress out of his life. I mean, he should have been retired twice over already, you know. Well, but Bob is staying on. Yeah, he's staying on, but it's, it's a less stressful position for him. Like, yeah. he doesn't have to think about what 
like if he takes a day off kind of thing. It's there's there's a little bit of freedom and leeway there for him. You know, I should be using the uh, straight blade. If I can remember what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Oh. And just a heads up, there may be a time where I have to just go excuse myself. I had a... Uh, trigger point injection. Yeah, I had a trigger point injection injection, injection in uh, my SI sacroiliac on New Year's Eve, which was the second part of the one-two punch from where I had the RFA in uh, October. Trying to make sure we get all the vertebrae back in line and acting right. Um, not of critical urgency, but when you get a moment, mm -hmm. if you could go grab a headlight for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you want that wand light as well? Um, sure. Oops. Up here, everybody is sleeping. Not a big oops, which is good. I shouldn't say oops. can't find the black wand, but I found the yellow wand. Okay. I think it's charged. Yeah, it should Ooh, be. Oh, yeah, it is. Holy moly, that's great. Dunk. Beta. Uh, the other good thing about the specific silicone sealant that I got, silic silicon, silicone, silicone, sorry, um, is that it's designed to be water ready within 30 minutes. So uh, while we won't need it to be quick or ready that quickly, it will be ready for evening showers without any issue. got uh, dinner in the June oven so the whole front smells like delicious nachos little mole sauce unfortunate. What's up? Mine doesn't really fit all the way in there either. Uh, maybe if you put it at an angle? Yeah, that's what I'm okay. hoping. I don't want to use the metal one like that. It'll just gouge it, I think. Yep. If you get tired, honey, you can... Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm not, like, using a whole lot of elbow grease to scrub it completely clean, but okay. I'm getting the majority of it out. Everybody's up front sleeping on the dash and underneath the TV. How's our chat doing? 
Uh, see, Red Jag says at least it's not a Thor motor coach if you want to look at the good side of things. Yes, and, that is true. Yeah. Um, and that's a very important distinction, too. It was bought by the Thor Corporation, not Thor Motor Coach. Um, and Thor Motor Coach operates independently. They're one of the subsidiaries of Thor, the corporation. So, yes, they will not be forced into the same practices uh, as Thor Motor Coach, which is a very, very good thing if you've ever seen some of the issues they have. Yeah. Um, David Doherty says silicone the other hole. Silicone the other hole. Yeah, I don't. I don't know in what reference that is. I. I don't. I'm definitely siliconing all the holes, and uh, I do every time. Aha. I think I might have found my groove. Cool. Literally? Yeah. I flipped the wider edge of the plastic scraper and I'm getting a better angle underneath. To... Oh, cool. It's still hard going because it's so much more narrow than an actual. Yep. But do what you can with what you got. David Doherty said he had to go show his RV to someone. David, are you selling your coach? Is that's what happening? Ooh. I'm gonna go sit down here. I'm bring this closer. Oh, we have another announcement that we haven't made yet. I'll let you do it. So, uh, on the 17th of December, we closed on the purchase of a new lot here at the Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort. Yay! It was one of those things where uh, we had a lot before and we sold it. I know you can't see my face, sorry. <laughs> uh, we sold it. <laughs> uh, we sold it about two years ago, and um, actually two years ago exactly. Well, because it was like the first part of December, we closed on that, and then the middle of December, somewhere around yeah. there. So it, right at two years, uh, we sold the former lot, and I would say within three months, we had already started regretting it. Um, I would say sooner, but that's maybe just sooner. Me. Um, and then with the pandemic and everything, we really started regretting it because uh, of all the places that we went, Las Vegas uh, seemed to be the best uh, survival area for us. Like the ability to get the supplies we needed in a timely fashion, uh, not have to deal with going out and seeing hordes of people not wearing their mask because they deny that it's even real, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. Um, well, and also the difference in the RV parks that we had, well, that we had found that we fit in and they were in the area that we wanted to be in to, you know, go out and drive around or hike or whatever. Yeah. So we really just enjoy the motor coach resort. Here. Yeah. Because we, we don't like camping, <laughs> you know, if... We're not exactly out in the sticks roughing it. Yeah, we're indoorsy people. So uh, yeah, we bought a new lot here. And um, right now it is what's called an unimproved lot, which means it's just a concrete slab and grass around. But it's a little bit better than that, than that sounds, because the lots on the three sides, besides the street entrance, have improvements and uh, extra shrubbery or build outs or something 
So it really makes this lot more private than what it sounds like. Yeah. And um, we have a landscaper who's going to be removing all the grass, putting down pavers, artificial grass, and um, some lava rock type stuff, desert rock, uh, so that we get rid of all the grass and we don't have to worry about sprinklers and all that junk. Um, so yeah, it will be uh, slowly making it more our own. But we're uh, very excited. Yep. I'm very glad that we did it. Yeah, and it was one of those things where I had been eyeballing the sales side of it and just looking at places. And when we got back here, um, we had the conversation and started, you know, really looking at the sites that they were north facing and, you know, other requirements that we have that we wanted to be able to use privacy and uh, the few sites that we found that had build outs that we liked um, yeah they're so built out that I don't think a 45 foot coach would have fit on them well at least not with having a car parked in front too right so we uh, we opted for one that was unimproved but still as she said north facing mm. uh, Private, so, and quiet. has all the privacy and quiet and everything um, it's down a little further from the one that we had before, uh, so it's more. It's not in what was called Old Town specifically, um, but it's it's but a really. We, we are right across the street from the earlys, like the one. Yeah, that, from the know, early so, Old Towns. Yeah, you're right. So we're at the beginning of Old Town, but not in the little cul-de-sac of Old Town. So there's a little more traffic in this section because uh, we're on a long straightaway here in the park, uh, but you know it's not terrible the speed limit's 12 miles an hour anyway so so tell them what the precipice was for us even when we were in texas and we called and you oh. answered <laughs> the phone yeah so <coughs> one um, of the reasons why it feels like home the people here at the lvm resort office uh they know us and remember us more than what we expect of anyone really because i mean they have over 400 sites here um so we were in Texas and had made the decision to come back to Vegas and I called and the very first words of the conversation when the person on the other end of the phone picked up in the office, they said, oh, hey, Michael, we were just over by your site or the site you normally go to uh, and we were just actually talking about if we'd see you this winter or not. Yeah, I guess you're coming back. Are, are you coming back? And so they, they knew instantly who we were, the site that we normally were on, um, and they were, you know, wondering about us in their spare time without us initiating anything if they were going to see us this winter. And then, uh, unfortunately, the site that we normally went to wasn't going to be available for part of the, the stay. So um, uh, it was Joanne that, was, that I was talking to. Uh, Joanne put us on a different site. Well, Kelly, who also works in the office and knows us really well, saw our name on the upcoming list and saw that we were going to a completely different site. And she's like, oh, no, that's not going to work. They've got the, you know, that site and it has... it wasn't because we were persnickety people. No, no, no. She just, she just knew, knew what, we what we preferred. And so she's like, that's not going to work. That has too many trees overhanging. That has too much grass. There's sprinklers, all this stuff. Um... They need to be on 36, where th we know they like it. It's partly built out. They enjoy that site, and the cable modem works there without any problem. All so they already knew all these things. Kelly did, so she actually called and had the people that were on 36. They had not requested that site specifically. They just requested two sites together so that them and their travel companions could be close. Uh, so they called them and confirmed that it was okay to move them. And then she called us and told us, "Hey, we're good to go on 36." So. Um, really, I mean, just outstanding customer service. <laughs> yeah, that's David Dougherty says great customer service. It is. It's absolutely amazing. And whether you rent or whether you own, it's the same. Yeah. If you know, like, it. I've never, other than Rusty's RV Ranch. Yeah, where have, Rusty knows us. Where Rusty knows us, have I ever encountered such like it's like being at home. 
and you know it's the same way at Rusty's it's it feels like home to me especially with you know our friends there and the landscape and everything but this place is you know Vegas is Vegas um Red Jag says congrats on the purchase good news toying with coming that way to check it out researched it several times but the boss wants to see it first good yeah listen to the boss yep. um but there are a lot of for for me having fibromyalgia and degenerative disc there are a lot of options that are not um i don't, there, there's a lot of pain clinics here that are not so much pain clinics. They're more like, I'm going to plump your lips with Juvederm, but I'm going to call it a doctor's office. Um, but there are plenty of options for... For like, actual medical care. For actual medical. Um, I don't think there's a teaching hospital as far as that goes. I'm not sure. I think UNLV might have like a nursing program, but as far as like in-depth pain care... Um, I it's actually, not like Duke and UNC when right, we were there, right. as far as that goes. Yeah, but I haven't had any problems with getting a doctor to listen to me, and you know, which is it's problematic when you travel around. I have to keep all my my records on hand, and then it's if I find a new doctor, it's like I have to train them. Um, but you actually had really good luck with this. Yeah, this I hadn't met them before October. And uh, the PA was really great, and the actual doctor, amazing, knew exactly what I was going through. Um, I took in all of my records and films that I had. I had an MRI, and you know, so far so good. We're. I got. You want to plug that one so people know what it oh, is? Oh, uh, Nevada Pain, in Las Vegas. His name is, and I, I love this name being a child of the 80s. His name is Adam Ant Flick, like Adam Ant Flick, Flick and Ant. Um, huh. It just makes me smile every time I see it. But yeah, it, and everybody that I've encountered from the RFA and the anesthesiologist, everybody was just very professional, very comforting. I had questions, they had answers. This was one of the first times I had to go in without Michael there. Yeah, the pandemic, uh, they so. don't allow spouses or any family members in. It's the patient only, Yeah, and unless so, there's extenuating circumstances. Right, but, you know, when I had to ask a question once or twice to, because of spatial awareness and the anxiety and everything, they were more than happy to. And there's a, a nurse in the front entrance of the surgical center that oh, absolutely yes. flips over the Model X every time we go in. Yeah. <laughs> this last time I made it dance for her. So she was kind of beside herself watching it dance in the parking lot. If you're not aware of what I'm talking about with it dancing, do a, a search on YouTube for Model XMAS, Model Xmas, um, or Tesla Model Xmas may help. And you'll see loads and loads and loads and loads of videos about it. The one thing that she doesn't, that she gets excited and she doesn't believe us is that it's a three year old car. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not brand new. It's just, you know, uh, Mr. Michael over there. I tend to take care of our things. Sometimes he, you know. Maybe too much. Yeah. That's what you're going to get at. Yeah. Sometimes you, you obsess a little bit over it, but that's okay. You work hard. You got it. What was that old, uh, you're worth it? Like Revlon, you're worth it? Or oh. one of those? Only one of those I remember is maybe it's Maybelline, but you know. Wow, this stuff is really gummy. It's not even like a solid piece of rubber. It's yeah, some of it where it's caked in there so thick. Yeah, it's it isn't exposed to air to cure, so it does stay a little butt. gummy and tacky. Um, I'm gonna try to do this a little different this time when I put it back together and not go as heavy-handed with the actual caulk as I had been. This sweater is gonna be the death of me. I'm burning up. I don't know how you're in a sweater. Well, I got uh, three layers on, so. so I usually run hot, and I'm she usually chilly. runs cold. Yeah, I live year-round with a heated blanket, and my uh, my big purchase this last fall was a stone heated blanket, so it. Uh, 
Like a heated mat? A heated mat with stone, so it, the heat is even and dissipates. So it's like getting a stone massage, a hot stone massage, just laying in the bed. And it was uh, quite the purchase. Oh, this is just goopy. Ugh. Yep, it happens. Yep. Such is life. Life is messy. I've been uh, sparing everyone the vacuum cleaner so far. Yeah, we'll the, have the to. The shop vac is going to come out here in just a little bit. But I'll give you plenty of warning. And we'll mute the mic, I think. Maybe. Yep. Maybe if our hands aren't too icky. Oh. Is this what they call slow TV? <laughs> Mark just said, action-packed, absolutely riveting. <laughs> hey, you know, the Norwegians do stuff like this. They have whole channels where you just watch from the front of a train or a, a boat or somebody knitting. That's, I think it's on Netflix. You can go to slow TV on Netflix and you can just sit there and watch somebody knit. And to be fair, I have watched it. It's very soothing. So yes, Mark, thrill a minute, buddy. Yep. Although I doubt your boy would be this interested in, in Yeah, this Rudy this. probably would lose interest pretty quick. Yes. You, there's no uh, Fiona or the cats. Okay. Um. There's so much... Uh, little scraps. I'm going to have to vacuum it up so I can see what I really have left to do. Actually, here's a oh, pulled out. So The other thing too, you got to be really careful. Um, the epoxy stuff that they put in from the factory, it's very, very hard. And when it gets flaky, it can have jagged edges and you can, act, you can yeah. get a real serious cut from it. So you got to really be careful. Um, like here's a piece of it. it. It's it's quite pokey. Okay, so if you're going to vacuum here in a second, I am going to take the opportunity. All right, I'm going to mute my mic. Oh, you're going to shake that out in here. You may shake it out there, or oh. try to get it in the trash. Well, I'll try to get the bulk in the trash, and then the rest you can put in here, I guess. probably would have opted for something different for that. I know. I wasn't planning ahead. It was just the easiest thing to grab that wasn't important. Yeah, I've got most of it off. Okay. Thank Bitte. Okay. I'm going to mute you guys so I can run the vacuum and not blast anyone's ears. And going on mute now. Are you muted as well? No, I'm not, but i got a bunch of stuff on, so. Okay.
Sorry guys, that lasted longer than I thought. I should have muted mine. Oh, and he's back at it. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't crazy loud for everyone. Christopher C., welcome, and I hope that uh, your almost run off the road was, uh, everything turned out okay. I'm guessing it was winter weather. Time for a blade swap, getting a fresh pokey bit. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break from that and I'm going to get the cleaner and paper towels and start working on that just so I can sit down and okay. get a yeah, that's fine. change of angle. Um, um, so probably just, actually I would start with... Yeah, I was just going to use the bleach cleaner that's under there. Yeah. How about that? Yep, danke. Bitte. Get my paper towels. Oh, wow. Christopher C. says he was driving down the road on a snowed road. Some jerk cut him off, hit the brakes, went sliding, almost hit another car, came inches from going into a ditch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's scary. Hopefully uh, all involved came out okay. Yeah. Maybe a change of pants was required after that. Possibly. I know I would have one. Um, Red Jag, I didn't know you had a vlog. I'm gonna have to go into stalker mode. I bet he's got it linked on his uh, our village, our and that's village. why I don't know about it. That's why you don't know about it. Yep. <laughs> don't you start? <laughs> I got enough people telling me I need to be on our village. I'm just poking. I know. I did actually update our location, so there is that. Oh yeah, this is grimy. Yeah. Yeah, to be expected. That definitely gets a little on the... It does. But nothing, a little elbow grease won't... Uh, no, actually I do have all new set of um, rubber seals for this because uh, I can't remember what part it was. There was some part that was goofed up on this to begin with and they had to get an entire new shower surround kit out of parts mm. and so while they had it out they're like anything else in here you want to grab for spare parts and so I grabbed all the rubber gaskets mm. what I should have grabbed was the lower wiper the plastic hard plastic wiper on the bottom of the shower door yeah because that has deteriorated now to where it's in need of a replacement. But I think um, yeah. it looks like you can buy those on Amazon actually pretty I cheaply. I may actually go into the kitchen sink and run some hot water with a little bit of bleach mm -hmm. to loosen this up. Because some of it is grimy and ready to come off, but other uh, it's, it's yeah. pretty bad. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. I don't think it's going to make much difference because it. the problem is it stays saturated. Yeah, but I don't want to put it back time. with ick on it, you know? Well, true. I mean, if I can throw it in the sink and let the bleach do the work, yep. all the better. What about these longer, thinner ones? Is that okay as well? Uh, they probably don't need it. Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. Let's see. That one doesn't. That one does. And that one doesn't. Apparently the ones that were vertical don't yeah, it's just the bottom edge of them. The bottom, yeah. All right, I'm going to go in here, take you with me. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so the other part on this wall is there's two, three, four, 
looks like four screws that hold this wall to this wall. Uh, so you have to scrape around those as well. So it's not as straight of a shot as it would otherwise seem. I'm going to mute you all for a minute. You don't need to hear all this. And you know what? I need to check. Make sure nothing's popped up at work. Yeah, that's okay. I'm I'm tech, I'm on call this weekend, uh, so I'm just checking to make sure nothing's blown up. And there was one case, but it's not really a weekend activity type of case that hit. So I'm still good. Let's see if there's anything else exciting in chat land. Oh, Cape Charles in Virginia. Nice. It's a nice place, Red Jag. Christopher, yes, you are correct. People do not know how to drive in the winter. Oh, David. Uh, yeah, that they definitely shortchange RVers a lot and truckers as well. It is really a pain to get all of this old caulk out. And if the problem is if you don't get it all out, then the new caulk doesn't seal as well and you end up having to redo it again in a lot shorter time frame. So it's really critical to get it all. And if I weren't streaming to all you fine people, I would have some music going, but with YouTube and copyright infringement issues and content ID and all that fun stuff, uh, can't really do that. But that's okay. So David and I have started another morning routine. Uh, there's a game in virtual in VR, virtual reality, for the Oculus headsets and also Steam uh, headsets and Windows Mixed Reality headsets called Beat Saber. 
and it's a, a rhythm game. You slice blocks that are coming at you to the beat, to the rhythm of music. And there's different difficulty levels, so you can start off real easy until you get used to things, and then you can start ramping up the difficulty. But um, it can be very much an aerobic exercise. You can get your heart rate up and really you, you move a lot. You can move a lot. So he and I have started doing that first thing in the mornings. Uh, but we're going to shift it to afternoon, evening, I think. Because uh, starting Monday, I'm going back to work. Uh, been off for a week or a little more uh, for the holiday. But I'm uh, going to be going back to work on Monday. And even with our time difference, I'm still going to be tech at work before David would really be up and ready to uh, do the game. So we're going to shift it to the evenings. And I thought about streaming that because you guys seem to not be able to get enough of David and I doing silly things together. So uh, maybe we'll stream our VR sessions a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We're, th we're thinking about it. Anybody interested in watching David and I goof off in virtual reality? me I was going to approve a message that came through earlier but it's uh, saying there was an error approving it I don't know if maybe it was retracted no nope, error try again okay uh, sorry red jag it won't let me approve your message there I'm not sure what is going on okay I'm back with that and coming back Okay, so those are dried off. I've got as much as I can off of it, but okay. there are a few of the not bottom ones. The bottom ones that are cracked and really hard and brittle. So I don't okay. know if you want to replace those as you go. Or <sighs> we'll see. So. Um, Power Beats VR. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one, uh, David. I haven't seen that game in there. Um, even more of a workout, but it does require a Steam server. Okay. Yeah, so David doesn't have um, anything that can do Steam VR. He just has the Oculus Quest. Um, so that's how I play with him. Um, I have a Valve Index as well that I do big VR with. Um, I just finished Half-Life Alex actually over this vacation. Um. I can't seem to show Red Jag. I can't either. It says it's, there was an yeah. error when I try. So Red Jag, we're not ignoring you. It yeah. just gives I, us an error. I told him. Error. Okay. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hope you're hey, doing Mary. well. Hope you're having a a better than regular day. Oh, so I'm back at getting this sticky stuff off. I wiped down all of the. What do you call that? It's not caulk. Uh, um, it's just like rubber... Gasket. Yeah, gasket, gasket material. All right, I think that's all I'm going to be able to get off of this narrow... Okay. I got one left. So this is not nearly as thrilling as my uh, astronomy streams nah. during the conjunction. Uh, I'm going to mute again and vacuum out this stuff again here. Okay, I'll pro I'll mute because he takes a while, so I don't want to blow your eardrums out.
Hello. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Mary, thank you for asking. I am doing a lot better than I was. Um, Thursday I had a injection, a trigger point injection in the SI uh, sacral iliac. Um, I'm always foggy headed after that. They put me under with, I always say it wrong, propofol. Um, and it's so it's a little anxious for me going in, especially when Michael's not there and I get a little bit of brain fro fog and they've got to repeat things for me, but they were really awesome about that. It's, I'm really pleased. Um, I know that Herbie said he's got to talk to you about uh, coming out here to check things out, but I, I will say that spending most of my life, adult life, back east, coming out to the desert it's it's almost like I don't have fibromyalgia compared to the way it was compared to the way it was um, it's I have fewer heavy duty flare days here and I know the difference because as soon as I go east of the Pecos it starts to set in and the more humid the more it hurts so and there's there's plenty of reputable doctors here and easy to find the care and patients that uh, people with chronic illness deserve. Yeah, David, they do for sure. Um, when we lived in North Carolina, I could tell you a day before when it was gonna rain, just from everything hurting. And I used to like giggle at my grandma would she would say stuff like that, but. Tis real. Yep. If she were alive today, I'd owe her an, well, I owe her an apology anyway, but. If she were alive today, she'd get an apology. Yes. for a new blade on this one as well. Holy cow, 14 people watching. Man, you guys must be bored. We watched uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. We started it last night, finished it today, and man, yeah. that was uh, a roller co coaster of emotions whenever um, Chadwick Boseman was on. Yep. There's one scene, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, there's one scene that is very powerful, very emotional, and I feel like he was channeling his struggle with colon cancer when they were filming that. Because I know it was one of the last movies he did before he passed away. Um, yeah, it just left me in tears. I was such a talented artist and... I found out later through a, a friend that grew up with him that he was every bit of the decent human being that that you would think he is by being the Black Panther and uh, probably more so. John Bloxham says, we just like to watch people doing work after we've done ours. <laughs> Fair enough, buddy. Yeah. There's got to be somebody out there that refuses to do this and just watching how the little people live. In here, scraping this goop up. Oh. Yeah, the problem is... There's no consistency with this silicone. Like I get a good groove going and then all of a sudden I hit pudding. Yep. I was going to say the problem for me is um, we could easily find someone and pay someone to do this, but I don't have confidence that they would do the same level of detail that I do, same level of work. Yeah, and Michael I'm not disparaging anyone else. I'm just... 
very, very particular. Very particular. I thought Which I was doing all right with two berries. I didn't think I needed the third berry. Come you on might now. need four or five, okay. but I will say that because of your peculiar attention to detail that the things that we have have uh, lasted much longer than I would have expected them to because of the continual upkeep and care. And when there's something that goes wrong, Michael has no problems just jumping in there and getting it fixed. So. See this whole stream? Huh? I said, see this whole stream. Oh, yeah. Have no problem jumping in and getting it done. John says, since you're so particular, I'll let you do the work on my RV. <laughs> I don't think you could afford my rates, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, uh, I price myself out of jobs intentionally. Yeah, he had a, a week's vacation, and I didn't put upon him any to-do lists. He got to play VR and hang out and do whatever he wanted. And then today when the shower thing went off, I was like, okay, we gotta get this handled. This is, this is the honeydew. And here we are. Yep. Oh, I think I've worn my chisel down to a nub. Your plastic one? Yep. Okay. I'm really trying not to use the metal one because of the gouge factor, but. Just try to keep my hand out of the way. So the trick is getting it at the right angle that you're, you've got the very edge of the razor on the thing doing the scraping, but you're not eating into the plastic of the Corian. Because you may not realize Corian material is just plastic. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just thick plastic with pretty Swirls. colors swirled through it. Multicolored plastic. Yep. Maybe before the end of the stream, I'll have to show people all the little funny animals and faces I found and the patterns on the, I don't know, you might yeah. might think I'm crazy. Red Jag says he was going to say that he installed his own antenna because he didn't trust any someone else to do it. Yep. That's the way I am too, buddy. Yep. I do as much of my own maintenance as I can and the stuff that I can't do on my own because of lack of tools or space uh, I make sure that I'm able to be with the coach and watch what's being done while it's being worked on so I know if it's done right. Which I'm sure some people may find off-putting because they're trying to do their job, but if they were doing their job... They yeah, if they're doing their job right, they got nothing to worry about. Right. Not like the... Uh, was that on the Cavalier where the guy said he couldn't... Yeah. Yeah, I had a... 1990 Chevy Cavalier and I just swapped the uh, clutch on it and took it in to have it aligned because to get to the clutch you have to disassemble the driver side uh, strut assembly which is where the camber adjustment is so I took it to an NTB or National Sears tire, tire brand National Tire and Battery or Sears Tire and Battery they were the, kind of the same thing um, and told them what was going on and I needed it aligned. So I walk back there when they take it back and the guy uh, gets it up all connected and I'm looking at it and sure enough the camber's way out and the toe's out a little bit. So he starts cranking and cranking and cranking away on the toe adjustment on that side and then he starts taking it down and I'm like, well, aren't you gonna fix the camber? I said, you know, the toe wasn't really that far out if you'd fix the camber. Oh, you can't adjust the camber on these vehicles. I said, uh, yeah, you can. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Unless you've, unless you've drilled out the struts, you can't adjust the camber. I said, I'll tell you what, hook it back up, put it back on the lift, loosen these two bolts. If the camber doesn't adjust, I'll pay for two alignments. If it does, you'll fix it. Oh, well, it's your money. So he took it loose, or put it back up there, loosen those bolts, and just gave a little half-hearted push against it. Said, see, it won't move. And I slapped it and it folded in. 
he apologized about 15 times and I said look you know I you don't have to apologize to me just do it right and uh, so yeah I saved myself a lot of headache in uh, eating having tires eaten on that vehicle by knowing what was going on and being back there I think I'm gonna have to sit like this and we'll have to vacuum the floor that's fine I can't really hunker over anymore that's fine yeah. you don't have to keep doing it at all if you I know I'm just trying to get what I can done without pushing too many spoons yep so I'm usually pretty good about my limits <sighs> I had a doctor once when uh, they were going through all the testing to figure out what was actually wrong with me. And my general practitioner, absolutely lovely lady, she was 68 years old and she looked like she was in her 40s. Um, she said she was, she didn't know what was wrong with me, but she was smart enough to know that she didn't know what was wrong with me and we started going to different specialists. And I had a sports medicine <laughs> guy. One, he, they were doing construction in his office. And so leaving the doors wide leaving open. Leaving the doors wide open. So I had a paper patients, gown on, yeah. and there's construction people just milling about. And then you mark off the little sheet, you know, where do you hurt? And he just comes in and says, you can't hurt everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. Um, so we ended up leaving and letting insurance know that... He also said she... Um, oh, I should get off the couch. Yeah, she just needed to get off the couch and stop eating bonbons. Yeah, and exercise more. Never mind that she was chucking bales of hay at the county uh, at a rescue city farm. farm yeah. City farm, yeah. Yeah, that week I had uh, wrestled some sheep for vaccines and we loaded up hay. Um, yeah. So we called the insurance company to make sure he did not get paid. Yeah, because... He did not like that he did not get paid. Yeah, well. And then I think he died in a car accident. I don't remember that part. Or he went out of business or something. I think he went out of business. Yeah. I don't, But I don't know. He's, he was not a nice person. To have somebody come to your, you know, you're a physician. And somebody's coming to you clearly well, in pain and wants He's a sports help. doctor. He's not, you know. But You didn't come to him with a sprained knee after right, playing football. But he could have said, I don't know. Yeah, not absolutely. Not get off the couch. Yeah. 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 There are assholes everywhere. Yep. Let's see if we got any chats. Oh. Yeah, they charge you an arm and a leg for sure. Uh, labor just eats you alive. <laughs> oh, John, I'll let I'll let Red Jag answer that. <laughs> I always feel like a lot of people from back east don't realize the variety that the desert has to offer. I think oh, if sure. you've not been out here, they just think it's brown. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, for where we are here in Las Vegas, in, uh, in recent years, in October and in April, the climate change from the valley to Mount Charleston and Lake Mead, it it can shift as much as being able to go to Mount Charleston and snow ski and then later that day go to Lake Mead and water ski and still be comfortable temperature wise. So. Yeah, not climate change, but just the difference in temperature. Yeah, from. not like global climate change, just the, the variance in the temperature. Yep. This is proving not to be the best angle. I was doing better pulling it towards me than pushing it away. 
That's what I try to tell you all the time. I'll pull it towards you? Yep. <laughs> Stop that's pushing what, it away. That's what she said. Really trying hard not to show you guys any plumber's crack on the yeah. rest of the stream. Um, Augusta would like to know what's the biggest cost you have living a full time living full time in a motor coach. Uh, for us, the mortgage on the motor coach. Well, yeah, but aside from the actual cost of the RV itself, um, the biggest cost, if you stay stationary a lot, is lodging, and if you travel a lot, it's fuel. fuel. So. You, it just depends on which you do more of, um, if you stay stationary or if you travel more. Well, and as with, you know, houses, apartments, and other abodes, there are so many different types of RVs. Yep. So when it comes to our RV, um, there are a lot of parks that we've sized ourselves out of. Yeah. Um, that we just, we can't get in there. So a lot of times to be where we want to be and where we need to be, um, a big rig park is our only option. And and they know that. So. And they know that, so they get you. Um, but the other high cost is for like KOA or Jellystones um, to, to get on a, a big site that they have, often they don't have monthly rates. So if we need to stay, we have to pay a, a weekly rate, which it, you know, cranks it up. Whereas a lot of RV parks allow for a monthly or even, you know, a reduced rate. But so, yeah, uh, I'd say site rent can, can be one of the biggest. I mean, here at the Motor Coach Resort, the cheapest lots in prime time, which is the winter, um, are almost after utilities and everything are said and done, it's over 2000 a month, basically. Right. Um, but when it's not a pandemic, you get a lot of value for that cost. Like oh, yes. Yeah. You know, there's a workout place, and all of this is open to the guests. Um, there's four pools, there's a large lap pool, um, hot saunas, tubs, saunas. Yep. There's a clubhouse with a big kitchen that, you know, um, they have party or had parties all of the time. And we're not talking like a, a birthday cake and some paper hats, people. This no. is. <laughs> they go all out. Yeah, these, these are professional partiers. <laughs> yeah. Like we so had. Uh, when it's not pandemic, it is a it, lot of bang for your buck. Is. If you partake in that stuff. Yeah. If you don't, it's still a really nice place to stay. It is. It's a very nice place to stay. You're right off of uh, Blue Diamond. In there's uh, a Target shopping center. Just yeah. There's lots like of shopping. Like right outside the park. You're not far from the strip if that's your thing. Um, about you're not, ten minutes yeah, from the strip. And you're about twenty minutes from Red Rock Canyon. About an hour from Pahrump if you want to go to wineries and stuff. All of this is going to be post-pandemic, of course. Um, yeah. We like it. And you don't have to be a gambler to enjoy Las Vegas. Oh, no. Um, we there's don't. Red Rock Canyon. There's Valley of Fire State Park. Lake Mead. Uh, a lot Lake of Las shows, Vegas. music, sports. Yep. Um, there are a surprisingly amount, a uh, number of uh, museums. Yeah. There's a nuclear atomic museum. There's the old neon sign museum where they've taken old things from the old signage from the, the glory days. Um, there's a couple of art museums. The Bellagio has a really nice art museum. I'm going to vacuum again, so. Okay. Mute y'all. Yep. Save your ears. Okay, we'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, Augusto, is the campsite that you're on now the one we bought? Yes, it is. Uh, it is Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort Lot 81 is the one that we purchased. Um, we have been on it since about the 8th of December, but closed on it on the 17th. Uh, the former owners let us go ahead and move on to it before we closed. We already had the earnest money in place and everything. so um, And we transferred the utilities over to our name so they wouldn't keep getting billed for our usage. So yeah, they were more than happy and very gracious to uh, let us come over to the site early. And that's the dog. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear their dog in my mic or not. I think Lenann's mic is still muted. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's their dog barking. I think she's trying to take Fiona out now. Man, I really wish I had that mineral spirits. I would try to use it to wipe up any little residue. Yeah, remember I said this was the tough part? It very much is. You really got to be thorough with getting all the old stuff up. Otherwise, the new won't stick as well. It may seem like it's stuck, but it doesn't actually bind with itself. Especially when you're using silicone sealant. Um, I can't remember who it was that was talking about. Maybe it was David. Yeah, I think it was David that was talking about Powerbeat VR. Uh, another one I really like is um, Autica, which is a sh you shoot the notes, basically, instead of slicing through them. I'm going to grab a drink of water here. <laughs> wrong kind of alcohol. Well, yeah. That other kind of alcohol comes after the job. If it's done by, during the job, the job doesn't get done as well. Just trying to find any places where I missed getting all the old stuff up here. A big spot in there, it feels like. Aha, indeed there was.
So if you're on uh, Oculus VR, anybody out there, uh, feel free to add me. I am Linux Kid, L I N U X K I D D. Uh, and the same on Steam VR. If you're on Steam, I am Linux Kid there as well. I am back and unmuted, but okay. I am I am spent. I'm done. Okay. I figured you were. Yeah. Getting close. That's oh, not me. Oh, the heat kicked in. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> I have uh, home automation stuff written to where, if any of the, um, if the heat kicks on on any th of the three zones, well, two zones really. I don't use the middle heat zone. So if the front or rear heat kicks on and there's a vent open, it closes the vent. Because the theory being that you don't need to heat the outdoors. Yep, let all the bought air out. Yep. The people that uh, live next to us have a cute little uh, chihuahua corgi something something. And uh, her name is Penny and she's super sweet. She always just has to come out and say hello. So. Oh, uh, that's uh, Don and Paula? Yeah. Yeah, I mentioned that on the stream. That yeah, you probably heard the barking. Yep. And, of course, Fiona being Fiona is just terrified. She yep. thinks everything's out to get her. Because most things are. Yeah. Especially when it's a cat. Yeah. Emma just doesn't like her. Although that's not entirely true because they do... Uh, they snuggle sometimes. They snuggle sometimes when nobody's looking. And they refuse to let you get photographic evidence. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go on mute and vacuum a little more. All right, then I will go on mute. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good, not a bad idea. Um, uh, glow in the dark caulking. Yeah, glow in the dark. Uh, well, like UV or something mm. to cause it to fluoresce or yeah. illuminate. Um, that that would be pretty cool. Uh, although I think it'd just piss you off because <laughs> when you get to a certain point, you're like, screw it. If it's not gone, it's just yeah, going to stay there. It's going to stay which is about where I am right now. Yeah. Uh, so after this, then I start masking off the areas that I'm going to caulk and uh, then start caulking. Not Macaulay caulking, but silicone caulking. Yeah. 
I may have to order takeaway. That's fine. I'm not really sure the. I've got everything prepped for nachos and. I made, Nacho Daddy? Yeah. And I made the blasphemous white salsa. Mmm. <laughs> blasphemous but tasty. Yes, blasphemous. Like, no Mexican restaurant west of Virginia. Well, outside of the Hampton Roads, Virginia area. I don't yeah. even think D.C. area. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never had it anywhere than Hampton Roads. Uh, you can find the recipe for it online. It's uh, Plaza Azteca White Dip. And it's basically mayonnaise and some seasoning. But it's so, so tasty. It's so good. I, I, I mean, it's basically white person salsa. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's the, the base is mayonnaise, so you know it's, it's, it's white people food, you know? Right. <laughs> we love our mayonnaise. Yeah. Any other chatters? Um, nope. No, I think we bored them all. Yeah. I knew it happened sooner or later. Uh, I just got, thought it'd be sooner. Yeah. Way sooner. We got 12 likes and 14 people. Wow. Uh, David Darty said, sorry, stepped away again. No, do not apologize. This no. is not riveting uh, television. It's not like we're Game of Thrones or anything. Right. There's no red weddings going on here. Mm -mm. If you've not watched Game of Thrones. My bad. Yep. <laughs> and what's wrong with you? Right. I tried to get him to, um, for me, rewatch Taboo with Tom Hardy, but he just wasn't feeling it. I, I told her she, you know, yeah, I it can, can watch play it. while I'm It just I'm wasn't there. something that he was into. No. And usually when that happens, he gets interested just enough to ask me what's going on about once an episode. <laughs> so, yeah. That's not science. But if you if you don't enjoy Tom Hardy, you're Oh no, I enjoy yeah. Tom Hardy. I just mean like in general like the interwebs if if this is not the show for you cuz it's it's I think it was written by Tom and his dad. Um it's definitely a Hardy and Sons production. It's <laughs> It's very Tom Hardy-ish. It is basically what I would imagine Tom Hardy just showed up one day and the camera turned on. Which you know they're great actors when you just assume that's who they are. He's also Bane. He also is Bane. And he was one of the Bondurant boys. Yep. He's Venom. Venom, yep. He tells a fabulous bedtime story on CBBS. CBBS, yep. Bedtime on BBC. story. Let's see. Gotta get my glasses back on here. <laughs> Red Jag about that. Which one? Uh, white people food. Oh yeah. He's not. It's not letting me show the the messages. They just say held for review. So we're not ignoring you. We're not banning you or anything. But uh, yeah, I, when I tried, it said error. Yeah, I got the same thing. Please try again or something like that. Oh, it just let me do it. Yay! Let me go back to the other one. See if I can do it. Nope, that says error. Okay. Okay. Oh, Let's see. glad we could entertain. Working the day job? No. Uh, Jim told me the SIM card arrived. Ah. So yeah. that is very good. He said, arrived in good shape, he'll open it later. Cool. That is good to hear. You know, I probably should take the X key out of my pocket. Mm. And there's JB. He just says, what's up? Hey, JB. We are just talking about you. Yep. I guess his ears were burning. Well, I told him I was live streaming the shower repair, so maybe that's what got him to jump on. I'm glad you added that repair at the end. I'm live streaming my shower. Right. <laughs> Hey, how it's not often you get to be in the shower with me. Unless you were in the Navy. Oh, okay. Point. Yep. Although the shower itself had a door, so you weren't in the shower. You were just in the room while I showered oh. in the Navy. At least on a submarine. 
I think surface ships have more uh, open stall showers, but I wouldn't more swear to it. More gym-like kind of. Yeah. Like prison showers. Right. Um, can you grab my scissors? Um, they're in the same thing that had the screwdrivers, the ah. little tool pouch. Okie doke. I want to just cut angles so that I can get ah, into the corners what? easily. Well, hello, Puddin. Oh, wow. No, you can't go back there. There's oh, still goopy Oh, saw the email stuff. notice. There's still goopy oh, stuff. Oh, cool. Yep. Okie doke. I may have erred because I addressed it. Oh, Boop. I'm not sure. I, I don't pretend to know what uh, triggers Facebook or not Facebook, uh, YouTube blocking some comments. Some are obvious, and some are not so much. So now I am masking the joint so that when I apply caulk, it doesn't go everywhere. Jim said chillaxin. Yep. Oh, I haven't heard that in, since the 90s. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, you know we love you. Um. So who wants to play the what are we having for dinner game? I think we'd get more takers if we were saying more of who's coming for dinner. COVID. Nobody. Nobody. Mm, let's see. That's the other thing I really love about Vegas. No matter what you're craving, you can find it. Pretty much. When we were in uh, Burleson in the Dallas area, I'd go on to the, the takeaway apps like Uber Eats and whatnot. And uh, it was basically uh, Sonic and pizza. Yeah, we were really craving Indian food, if yes, I remember right. That was the thing were. that had us yeah. wanting some good takeaway. Mm. And then as soon as we got here, we ordered pure Indian cuisine. Yes, we did. They have a paneer roll that it's got the mango, mango chutney, but they put it in a wrap and it's just so messy that way. So I put the, the request on there, you know, can you please put it in a bowl and have the wrap on the side? And I think it's a, it's a cool workaround because they, I end up getting more of the paneer and the filling than I would if it was just in a wrap. So. This is a pain in the butt, too. So how do we feel about Chicken Trio? Ooh, that sounds good. Is that on the takeout? Uh -huh. Yep. That is uh, Carino's, right? No, Carrabba's. Carrabba's. Which we don't generally um, eat at big, big chain restaurants. Well. Um, but there are a few that we do dig, and Carrabba's is one of them. Yeah. And Ted's Montana Grill. Somebody get a Ted's Montana Grill in Vegas, please. Please, please, please. please. We miss and, their bison. Yes, and bring back the kitchen sink burger. Whatever. Bison filet is my jam. Uh, kitchen sink burger. You got bacon, you got cheese, you got fried egg, you got bacon jam. That, you know. Okay, well, I'll give you bacon jam, yeah. So you want the trio? Sure. Do you want the Sicilian soup or Caesar salad? Uh, Caesar salad. Caesar salad. And I know you want the... Uh... Well, apparently they don't have the... Uh... Can... I guess I'd just have to get you a side of the asparagus. You can't get that as... Mm -mm. Huh. I got penne, potatoes, broccoli, and fettuccine, so I'm going to go with broccoli. 
Yep. Broccoli's fine. And we'll see. I think there's an upcharge to it if you get Yeah, the there is. I just it usually or last time we ordered when we were here in the fall. It would it let was, you select it. Yeah, it was just an upcharge as far as that went. So now I have to add it as a side. Actually, no. It is not available. Hmm. You could get sauteed spinach or sauteed broccoli. Oh, tiramisu. No, um, no tiramisu for me. Yeah, I know. We we carb loaded on pizza the day I had my procedure. Yeah, that that shouldn't have. Nah, but it was tasty. Yep. Um. Yeah. So no. Red Jag wants to know if I saw Joy smiling at her on Facebook. I don't think I did. And Jim said, didn't know we liked Indian food. We love it, but have not sought one out here in DFW. Um, Jim, we have friends, as you know, in the area, um, Denton, Arlington, Dallas, Plano area, and nobody had a good recommendation for an Indian place. That they had some Indian restaurants, but they could not recommend them. So, I don't even think we could find any that were doing. Um, not within an hour's like drive for us. Yeah. yeah, I mean, DFW is huge. Okay, so you're getting the chicken trio. And Jim, I wouldn't say that we like Indian food in general. There's some dishes that we really like. There's some dishes that we really like. I'm more adventurous with... Um, anything that's not spicy. Right, anything that's not spicy. So when I find something that I like the flavor of and is awesome, I tend to, to stick with that. But I have tried other things on the menu and requested they be mild. But my version of mild and other people's version of mild well, is not... Well, especially Indian cuisine, mild is not... Yeah. Not and unfortunately, Mexican cuisine, because it used to be, you know, my dad and I would try to out-sweat each other for spicy food. Whew. And, yeah. No more for me. Um, I think I'm just going to get the trio, too, and then you can have what I don't eat okay. for another day. And Sorry, we were talking about Indian food so much, I, my mind had shifted. I, well, I could go back to that. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, Chicken I trio is good. I could do a samosa. Oh, Scotty Thompson's. Yeah. That's the trio. No, Scotty Thompson is the pomodoro on the bread with the goat cheese and stuff. It's the oh, appetizer. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Um, okay. No, this is thrilling for everyone. Yeah, sorry. I put in my little notes to tell people how to get here back to the site. I had to switch it. I had it like um, a macro and I just pasted it in for when we were on the other site because I could 
you know, give them quick directions. So now I got to go in and change all that. Um, all right. Be here quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, I, I went ahead and paid that extra dollar to get. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, you could pay a um, dollar fifty, and it's priority, so <laughs> you I get first drop off. Did I not do that? Um, aha, I didn't do that part. Okay. I think the closest one is up on Eastern, right? Yeah. Maybe the only one. Well, there's one. I think it's in North Vegas. Oh. Um, over by... Uh, that might as well be a whole different... Yeah. Area, city. Um, well, I guess it is technically. Yeah. Las Vegas is a city. It's, it's not quite to the north... It's over by Hard Rock, where that Bahama place is that we've had. So, Bahama Mamas? Bahama Breeze? Bahama Breeze, thank you. Alrighty. So now I get to call security and let them know. You may want to mute for that. Yep. Okay, I'm going to vacuum again. This should be quick, so I'm not going to bother muting. So turn down your volumes. You've been warned. Three, two, one, contact. <laughs> Fondant tool hack? Yeah, like one of these, so you oh, no. Um, I use the other hack for silicone, which is if you have your fingers wet with alcohol, um, the uh, silicone doesn't stick to your fingers and you can smooth it down. So that's what I do. I just douse it with alcohol, swipe, douse, swipe, douse, swipe. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that tends to work out pretty well. It's the same thing actually that um, I know for example Tesla does when they put caulk around the ga the openings where they've closed up a battery mm -hmm. uh, they you know caulk it up real heavy and then they just wet their hand with silicone and dab or with alcohol and dab it down yep That's the other thing that we like about Vegas is like he was saying earlier everything you can have it delivered you can go pick it up whichever and when we were in smaller communities, it's it's hard if you have to drive 20 minutes one way to go pick up groceries. And I might should do this the other way. Which yeah, first world problems. But let's see if I can cut tape left-handed. Hey, it worked. Do you know there's a number of people that die every year by using right-handed tools when they're left-handed? Really? Yep. I was unaware. Yep. I have cut myself on several occasions trying to use something that was not designed for a left-handed person. They're out to get us. Yep. The right way or the highway? Yep. I'm completely goofing, of course. I know. I was lucky. I never had a teacher try to force me to use my right hand. I had heard horror stories like, Teachers whacking your knuckles with a ruler, trying to trying to force you into the right way of life. Yep. Once I get through um, masking all this off, I'll go mobile again with the video and show everyone just okay. for giggles. Jim says the benefit of the fondant tool is perfectly uniform bead but your method sounds good too. Do you have a fondant tool? I mean, yeah. I'm, is that what that is? Yeah. It's like for, um, I have a new one that's not scratched up, but it's a, it was supposed to be a fondant tool. I got it for something else. And it's for like cutting into, you know oh. what I'm talking about, fondant is that yeah, yeah. heavy. Yeah, heavy icing basically. Yeah. 
for like so, decorations. Yeah, I have other, this is just the scraper one that I used for, um, I put a piece of cotton and put cleaner on it and I use it to get into the ridges of the woodwork because they collect dust, a lot of dust. I also have a brush that has a thing on it, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna vacuum real quick again. Okay. Three, two, one, contact. prep work. Yes it is. It's a whole lot of pain in the took us. Better you than me I guess. Yeah. Although I've been scraping and doing my part. Oh. Yep you've been helping out a lot. I'm pretty excited about having pavers and I've got ideas from Pinterest to make the space my own. I'm threatening to have a uh, space mapped out for him to go outside and do VR with. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that earlier. My VR habit. Yeah. You working up work up enough heat out there you can be out there in the winter and not yep and I run hot anyway yep so just set the little uh, what are those things the sensors like patio heat oh the lighthouses yeah for the well VR. for the um, quest you don't have to use those ah so I would just set him out on the, the pavers and Enjoy some quiet time and not worrying about getting whacked in the head when I walk by. He's pretty humorous to watch, though. Well, yeah. I mean, anybody in VR technically is pretty entertaining. <sighs> oh, I need a nap. Um, let's see... Jim says it's the round ball head tool. I don't know about the other fondant tools. Yeah, I don't have the ball head one then, so Michael will just have to use his fingers. Um, Augusto, the LVM resort where we have the site is a class A only RV um, park. But and it has to be a 25 foot or longer class yeah, A. Yeah, 25 foot or longer class A. Um, there is an RV resort across the highway called Oasis that allows for all types of RVs. Yep. And it's nice. It's well maintained. It's just Not where LVM. we fit. It's more with our car hauler and everything else. It, it's back in the long-term storage section. So it's not our favorite place to be. Yeah, we, we just prefer this. We've been spoiled. Yeah. And like I said earlier, we have sized ourselves out of, willingly, out of a lot of places. Yeah. Just so, because our lifestyle, we're, you know, we're not outdoorsy people. Um, and it, 45 feet long is, yeah. We've, we've been at this for 13 years. I think if we had anything shorter than 45 feet, we may not have been at this for very long. You definitely have to like each other. Yes. At the very least. And then you throw in, you know, two cats and a dog and all of his toys. <sighs> yeah. Oh. It is a lifestyle, Augusto. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. 
It wants to know if I want to join the Eats Pass. What's an Eats Pass? You pay the monthly fee and then you don't have to pay delivery fees. How much is the monthly fee? Ten dollars. What's the delivery fees? Uh, right now I would have saved five dollars on it for this Then one yes, one. let's do the Eats Pass because. Okay, subscribe now. Cool. Just save five dollars. Spent ten, save five. Woo! That's okay. I mean, I, I think we will use it. Yeah. And we did before. Here. I think when we went traveling, we paused it. Yeah. I just don't remember. Um, let's see. Uh, David Doherty says, when you get a chance later tonight, look up the Epson BT300 series AR glasses. They would have worked very well for this live stream. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, I've I've seen those and I've been enamored by them. Um, but every time, like back when it, when they first hit the scene and they were really hot, you, you couldn't get them anywhere. Um, if it's the ones I'm thinking of, uh, I know Epson has done a bunch of stuff like that. I I could technically mount the camera to me a little bit, um, but it's I don't know. That's a little maybe super too tight for this kind of work. I don't know. Uh, David says I have a pair. If you want to check them next in Houston. I don't know that we'll be in Houston next soon. No, probably not. Um, that's where David and Brenda are right now. Yeah. With doctor's appointments and weather shift yeah. and buying the site, we're we're here for a while. Yep. We thought that there might have been a possibility to have a socially distanced weird outdoor family gathering for Thanksgiving or Christmas and so we started to to head east in preparation for that possibility and then when it became clear that that was not a viable option um, we just turned around and came home yep which is unfortunate but it is what it is but we did have a nice uh, video video Christmas with, yeah with the family Got tickled by the niece and nephew. Yep. The the nephew loves to see himself in the video chat and gave us a little dance. Very, very entertaining kid. Yes, he is. They're absolutely lovely. David, we're, <laughs> David said, oh, come on, you're not going to visit David? Um, we, we would have. We would have if COVID hadn't been a thing. Yeah. Um, given my immune, comp, you know, my compromised immunity and given what we know about science, um, it's, it's just not, it's not in us to take that risk, no matter how slight it might be, to It's break, not worth it. It's not worth it. To, to cause somebody to be sick or to get sick ourselves. it's just... Yep. I mean, David, his ability to receive cancer treatment depends on him being COVID-free. Yes. So that's, that's huge. Yes. Um, I mean, not discounting our own personal health, but... Right. Um, and we have close friends that are currently fighting COVID. Yes. Um, I have a friend in Colorado, and she has been dealing with it for months. She's what they call a long hauler. and uh, From a COVID perspective. From a COVID perspective. And a lot of what she's dealing with is what I deal with on a daily basis. The brain fog, the, the lack of... Um, energy just and then compound that to we don't know what COVID is going to bring like post polio syndrome was in the 50s so it's it's just really not worth it to us to 
you know, it would be great. To take the risk. Yeah, it would be great to hang out and visit and hug. I, you know, I, I miss giving my family hugs, but my, um, our sister, or Michael's stepsister, is in assisted living, and she has been for most of her life. And her health care needs are paramount. And her father and stepmother have not been able to hug her like every day of their life. And she, I don't, she doesn't understand why they yeah, can't you come can't in. Yeah, you can't explain You know, to she's, her. she's at the window, come in, come in. And she doesn't understand why that, you know, that they can't. And it's really emotional. It's heartbreaking. And... Yeah, I'm getting all emotional. that color blue yeah yeah almost done I got one little strip left but I gotta see what the ding was fries are done unfortunately no nope PayPal just uh, the uber oh yeah they took our money how old is that meme ding fries are done oh gosh I have no idea God. that's gotta be well over 20 years I would imagine so First time, good. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna put you on the Insta. Yay. put my glasses on my face and not on my head. Might be able to see better that way. Yeah. Okay, not perfect, but darn close enough. So I will go uh, mobile here and show everybody. Wow, just a few Sandhill cranes showed up at Rusty's. Good grief, that's a lot of birds. Alrighty. Okay, so let me turn this on. Alright. Wave to everybody. Hello. Hello. So, here's my uh, masking job so you can see there's just enough open space between the tape for the silicone oh, might help if I keep that's better um, so basically what I do is I apply more than I need and then I finger wipe it down turn back around sorry that was probably really quick movement um, and then I peel the tape and that way it keeps it from being all over the place which is usually how my caulking ends up I'm not a master caulker I understand the physics of it but uh, execution does not generally go well okay Was that your ding or mine? That was mine. 
Um, oh, it was you adding a new photo. It was alerting me to. Ah. Uh. Uh, maybe one more alcohol rub down before I start. Uh, David wants to know why mask all that since you're using silicone won't it pull up with the tape? Uh, I actually pull the tape up right after I smooth it down. So I don't leave it till the silicone seat, uh, cures completely because right. mm -hmm. otherwise, yeah, you'd risk pulling it up. And then Michael's got to finish what I started with the rest of the... Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I probably need... Ah, crap. Um, I might need to do that before I start caulking. That way I can okay. do it all. Up. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Nah, well, come I'll, look I'll and fine. see what I got before you. Okay, let me wipe this stuff down since I just got this all out. It definitely needs to be wiped down because of the, uh, the goop factor of the, where some of it didn't cure. Yeah, I mean, that looks really good, huh? This one I didn't finish. This is where I ran out of steam. Okay. But I didn't mess with these, and I did clean all of the... Okay. That this part Oh, you didn't clean down in... No, I didn't. I, I was getting the caulk out, and then okay. I ran out of steam. Okay, no so, problem. Thank um, you. You're welcome. I... Let me go get those. give you a chance to look and see if we need to replace these. See if I can find the one that's got the... Yeah, these, um, the way these channels are designed, it's really basically impossible to get them completely clean right. of old caulk. Um, you you just, may get a greeny and try to get like it off the sides or something? But no, I usually use a, a straight edge of the razor and okay. do the sides. Um, I can get back after that. I started a little bit of it, but I wanted you to get an eyeball on these. This one feels really like at any point it's going to get crunchy. Yeah, and then this fine. one has quite the uh, in it. Yeah, it's been that way forever. Okay, I didn't know if that would be a contributing factor to leakage. Or no, no, no. Because these, all these do is really hold the glass in the in thing and place. let most of the water run off. Okay. There's a gap at each end that lets the water through anyway. Okay. All right. Well, I will. I'll let you get in there and scrub stuff, but I'll get the straight razor and. Because okay. that doesn't take a whole lot of... I think what got me was the um, like the heavy arm scrubbing to get... Oh, yeah, to get yeah. the silicone out? Yeah, having to push. Push. And I think I'm going to get a fresh one. Because yes. Oops. Definitely get a fresh one. That. Plastic caulking scrapers that fit the corners for a smooth finish. Um, John, mostly because I don't have them, <laughs> um, if I'm being honest. I mean, you can try this if you want. Oh, quick pro, trip, pro tip. A lot of people don't realize that most caulk guns have a tip cutter built into the handle. So you put the tip into where you want it, squeeze, and it chops it off. And then, of course, most people do know that you use the little metal. thing to stab it and break the seal. And then 
definitely wipe it before you put it back away. I think my light's dying. Yeah, I couldn't find the other one. The black one with the magnet. Yeah, it may be up in the cabinet, but I'm not sure. So I'll switch to the headlight. I've also tried just applying the caulk and not smoothing it down using the caulk tip itself as like the thing that keeps it smooth and trying to maintain a steady flow. And the problem is it doesn't really get it back into the crevices that well and it ended up leaking way quicker that way. So I found it. You definitely want to smooth it and compact it down into the crevices. This is just tedious. Oh, another movie that we watched recently that we really dug was um, Greenland with Gerard yeah. Butler. Yeah, that was really good. That one was... Uh... There were some points where I was so on edge I had to get up and pace a little bit. It was really... It, think Armageddon, Deep Impact kind of thing, but less hokey. More about the survival stories than right. the hero. Yeah, and it was, yeah, it wasn't just um, trauma for trauma's sake. There was a lot of uh, what we know human behavior to be like, so it was a little stressful. Yep. I thought, oh, you know what? This didn't include the caps. Darn them. You want to put a finger caught on it? Um, They're in, Yeah. I think, the top drawer. Possibly the bottom drawer. Pretty sure the bottom drawer, now that I said it out loud. Nope. Um, nope. Your container is in the middle cabinet on the top shelf. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Oop. Hooked my wire. Okay, I gotta tap out. I can't hunker like that. Yep. This one's fairly fresh. That one what? This. Oh, okay. Razor. That's, I just didn't see what you did. Oh, so. okay. Uh, Red Jack says that was a good movie. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, Jerry Butler anyway, but Gerard, right? No. Does he go by Jerry? It's yeah, he goes by Jerry, but he he says it Jared. Oh. Like Jared from Subway. Okay. 
I, w I don't think I'd use that comparison, but. Well, yeah, no, but. All right, now I get to Dowson. Can you hand me a couple of paper towels? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay. Trying to get some of these crumbles up before the heated floor kicks in. Oh. I think the first thing I ever saw, um, Gerard Butler in is uh See now you're saying it the way I said it. Jared. Gerard. Not Gerard. <laughs> yeah. Jerry. Jerry Butler. He's my buddy. Um was Mrs. Brown, which was about Queen Victoria and her relationship with John Brown. Next. Her husband's horse. Dunka. Can't even remember what his job was. Um, but anyway, it's a true story. She, when Prince Albert died, she was in a deep state of grief, and they brought this Highlander down to tend to her horses and lead the horses. She went out on walks, and he pretty much told her what for, to get up out of her funk, and, and uh, Jerry Butler played his cousin, and they're romping in the Scottish sea and he and Billy Connolly are butt naked just running through the waves. I immediately became a fan. <laughs> We're going to have to mop the floor. This cleaner is not uh, streak free. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I just we'll get it taken care of. You guys are getting a lot of Michael Rump shots today. Oh, yeah. Red Jack says, I use a sandwich bag to close the caulk and then a rubber band. Yeah, um, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, but I wanted something temporary in between when I did this part to when I do the... Anyway, that's just annoying because they used to include caps with them. And uh, the trick to getting the caps to work right is you squeeze out a little bit of caulk on the tip so that it flows into the cavity of the cap. And then just that part in the cavity cures and keeps the rest of it sealed and good. Um, but I guess nobody knew that, so they stopped including the caps. David Doherty says 16 penny nail. Oh, Push yeah. Through the hole. Yeah. I've definitely done that too. Ooh, I really went overboard on that one. thing about this method is you really have to keep your fingers wet otherwise the silicone starts sticking and since alcohol likes to evaporate that is a constant task Whew. lots of alcohol smell yep Hey Google, open the rear bath vent. Sure, opening rear bath vent. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Red Jag said that's what she said. 
You gotta keep it wet. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, Red Jag and Mary, they're they're our kind of people. They they get that uh that humor. Yep. Well, I mean Oh, I'm pretty sure if you're still on the channel following along, you get that kind of humor. So Yep. You get what you pay for. Looks like I've done all that that I can do. Okay. Is that a fresh one? Yes, it is. Okay. Then I will pull the masking tape. Then we can I'm a helper. Hey, everybody needs a helper. I did quite a bit. I know. Besides making a mess. I did make a mess though. Dang. <laughs> David Doherty says now you're just flexing on your home automation, your RV automation. <laughs> <laughs> See, I could have just pressed the button, but then you all wouldn't have known that I had that ability. <laughs> I think pretty much everything that can be automated in this coach is automated. A good portion anyway. When you go uh, mobile again, you should show them the mowing. Oh, yeah. Even our shower is automated. Well, I can't really show it right now because I'm in it. Well, no, I meant like when you're, like before you close off the feed. Because we can say, hey, G, start my shower. Yeah. And it'll get it up to temperature. And anytime you tell Michael you can't or you shouldn't do something, he'll create code for it and make it happen anyway. He's uh, quite determined to automate everything. Are you not? Yep. Man, I feel like I just put this down and now I'm tearing it all back out. Yep. to start on the inside one. You want the alcohol spray bottle? Nah. I'm getting it all over me though. Oh. <laughs> David Darty says, go ahead, you can still turn the shower on for some laughs. Right, yeah. I didn't actually mean him to turn it on, but that sounds even more entertaining. It makes it nice that uh, it does hold the temperature because just having the the older... Manual. Manual. Valve. Thank you, valve. It just... Sometimes it would freeze you out. Sometimes it would scald you. Well, the big thing is it drifted the whole time you were in the shower as far as uh, the temperature setting. Can smooth down some spots. Some waywardness. 
Yep. <sighs> Woohoo! Driver is on the way to pick up our order. Yay! I kind of think, like for us being so far away from uh, Carabas, mm -hmm. that if we p did that priority thing, they would not appreciate it. What do you mean that we did the priority thing? Like, if ours was the first drop-off, they had to drive all the way over here before they could do anything else. Yeah. Paper towel. Oh, I was sending messages oh, to the driver. Got, Sorry. It's okay. I got one. I got one. Thank you. Sorry. I didn't know, realize there was one over here. It's okay. I got some extras now. Trying to... Uh, let him know how to get her. Yeah, I, I put I it just in tell the him thing, to ask ask the security gate for a map to site eighty one. That's what I put in because. Okay. All right. Well, that looks decent. I want to see all the alcohol evaporates. Whew. Well, now it doesn't give me a option to contact them. What time is it? Almost five o'clock. Did you close the shades? The sunset did. Oh, I guess so. So yeah, at sunset, our shades automatically close our night shades. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Alright, so I'm getting ready to go mobile again and show you my amazing handiwork here. Okay, so there it is. Let me turn this up a little brighter. Maybe too bright. Okay, maybe just natural light. That's that's the job. You can still see some uh, alcohol trace there. Okay guys, I'm going to go mute and get things ready for dinner, and I shall return. Oh wait, let me see, Red Jack says something. Oh, here's uh, the the Moen shower control thing. So uh, you can see it has the date and time, and you by Moen at the top. Then these are presets, um, and then these little buttons control whether it comes over the wand or the spray head. Um, and so my presets number two, which starts the, the wand and sets it to 105 degrees because that's the temperature I like. And then preset number one is Lynn and hers starts the shower head up here and sets it to 111 because that's what she likes. And I bypass this entirely. So this is just left just to fill the hole. And then, you know, that's the standard Tiffin hookup. Um, the water control valve that used to be here, I took out and then cut a piece of Corian with a hole saw that would barely fit in there. And I siliconed that in and sealed that all up so that it would uh, support the mounting frame for this to screw to the wall and then this just snaps down over it. And the mixing valve itself is back behind the toilet 
which is where the hot and cold water come into anyway before it splits out to go to the shower. So I just used the hot water line to drive one of the shower things and then the cold water line to drive the other and, and plumbed it into the mixing valve there. Uh, and it works really well. The only downside is um, we've had a bad run of these controllers actually. Uh, they've been leaking water through right in this area from this button area into the display. Um, so this is our fourth one of these controllers that they've sent us and just now they asked for the third one back so that they could do more testing on it and see what was going on. Um, but I'd taken apart one of the previous ones and told them in this call what you know what the issue was. So they're providing that feedback to their engineering department. But I think he said it's a two year warranty on this device. So it's just been, it'll be a year that this has been installed at the end of January, I think. So I've still got another year's worth of warranty on it, but uh, they're working to fix that up. But yeah, uh, it's kind of an expensive upgrade, but uh, it really took the doubt out of is the shower drifting or am I just getting used to the temperature? And it turns out with the, the hand control valves, uh, the shower drifts. So with it set at 105 here, to me it feels the exact same throughout the whole shower, whereas before it, it would definitely get cooler. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my little mowing shower up, upgrade. All right, now to get to cleaning these other things so I can get the walls reinstalled soon. Yeah, I hate this part. <laughs> yeah, Red Jag like iRobot, yeah. Yep. Hey, you know, it, for me it's all about making things more convenient and function better. Uh, so, yeah. Are, is your mic hot? Yeah. Okay. Lenann said she is with Mary. Her, she does feel like it's iRobot. just the right angle on these blades so that you're scraping and cutting the silicone loose but not gouging the metal and not leaving a coating of silicone behind as well and it is a very delicate position
I know uh, this is riveting. I can see uh, how many people are watching right now. 13 watching right now. Whew. Basically our core members. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, so those that are out there, has the audio been okay this time while we've been doing this? Could you hear the vacuum cleaner loud and clear? <laughs> and every scrape of glass and caulk. Oh, we sound good, good. Most of these I'm just going to need to wipe down. There's kind of a rule of thumb. Cut towards your chum, not your bum. In other words, cut away from you and towards your buddy instead of towards you. But uh, sometimes it's easier said than done. You know, if your buddy's not here, then what? who do you cut towards? switch blades. I've been abusing that one a bit. Street view on Google Maps Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort. Yes, I did. Um, it's not all linked in really well yet, so I'm going to end up redoing it um, to uh, try and get better GPS accuracy so Google gets it right. Because some of the endpoints link and jump you like out into the next neighborhood or something. It's a little odd. So I'm going to end up reshooting some of it, most of it, all of it, something like that. But, uh, yep, you can now see Street View in Google, or Google Street View in Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort for most of it. Was it already delivered? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It just smells really good. Oh, that's the leftover or what I was going to make for dinner. Ah. Cool. 20 minutes to chow time. I don't know if I... I mean... I could slap this back together easily in 20 minutes, but I don't know if I can 
get it sealed. And these don't have any on it, right? Right. Okay, good. Not that I saw. I did not get this wiped down. This. Oh. Yeah. I did not realize. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so. Oh, you know what? There's a light in this. Hmm. Doesn't help much, but whatever. I've got, <laughs> I've got uh, a song from Beat Saber rolling through my head right now, actually. Um, Pop Stars by KDA, I think is the artist. Played that one this morning a couple times, I think. So anybody out there would uh, like to see David and I, or maybe just me, or maybe just David, I don't know, depending on what's going on, uh, do a live stream of us playing Beat Saber. I don't know how entertaining it'll be, but uh, I'm sure it will be sad and or funny. Sorry, you're not getting a good shot of me cleaning this, but I, I can assure you it is just as riveting as you would imagine it is. I think this is the one that goes to this side. On the VR stuff, if you get super lucky, you might hear David or I start singing <laughs> along with the song or humming along with it. Okay. And actually, this can stay over here for the moment because that will go on secondarily. seeing there's a resounding support of uh, watching David and I stream VR. <laughs> That's okay. You, you don't got to say anything. We, I could take the hint. I probably won't. I'll probably stream it anyway because hey, why not?
always makes it interesting. I don't know what that's referring to. Maybe uh, that we ignore everybody and just do our own thing. I don't know. Hey, sweetie. Where's that? Uh, oh, here it is. Never mind. I just found it. I was trying to make sure I had the fondant doohickey. Oh, always a learning experience. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely a learning experience all the time. It, basically, if you're not learning, you're probably dead at that point, right? That's definitely the way in the IT world. Um, you always got to be picking up the latest and greatest to stay relevant. Sorry, that was probably pretty loud. Sorry about that. feel like I should have had this done before. Um, okay, food is here. Just cleaning off the silicone right on the edge of this where it seals against the wall. It's kind of a pain because there's a little bit of a bevel to this, so you can't hit it at one angle all the way through. You have to adjust your blade the whole way. All right. I got one piece mostly ready to go back in.
Um, no, I'll go ahead and finish first. That one's going there. Yes, um, it is definitely dark out. Uh, that window is not does not have the shade drawn. So, yep, very astute. Uh, it is definitely dark now here in Las Vegas. Um, and actually, you can always check the skies above our coach if you go to all sky a l l s k y dot turtleherding dot com. Um, that is an all sky camera on the roof that lets you see the entire 180 degrees of the sky above our coach. Including stars and actually um, if you saw the post I did back in I think it was July about the comet um, that video, that time lapse was taken from that all sky camera on the roof. And I have one on my astronomy shed down in New Mexico as well, if you're curious about that one. And that one is allsky.linuxkid. That's L I N U X K I D D dot com. That one is generally going to be a more entertaining view uh, because it's at the dark sky site of the observatory. <clears throat> so you get to see a lot more. You can see the Milky Way on that one and um, if you're lucky you'll be able to see like a meteorite or something like that. David, yeah there was definitely light through there earlier. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have glass in it. Okay. I was trying to figure out uh, why this one didn't have the little glass bumpers down inside, but that's because this is the threshold to the shower door, so it won't have that. So the trick here is to apply enough silicone that it sticks up above the plane of the walls of this little section and seals against the floor or against the Corian material. I realize now thinking about it you guys probably can't see this I'll show it to you when I'm done Ta-da! it's a I, I'm not varying my grip because it's uh, well sticky Now I'm trying to get some silicone down in the holes where the screws go. I'm getting two screws ready so that I can put them in the hole 
and use that to guide where this gets dropped. Get in your hole, boots. Oh my gosh, that one is really being stubborn. putting a little bit of silicone over the screw heads in hopes that it'll prevent water from getting down underneath but only time will tell and that helps direct water out the weep holes instead of down underneath via the screw holes. Holy cow, still got 12 people watching, man. Only 5.15 p.m., yep. We're on Pacific time here. So yeah, Happy New Year's to everyone. Happy, hope everyone had a great holiday. Got to enjoy some time off. If you're still uh, afflicted with a day job like I am. All right, now I get to apply caulk to this one in the same fashion I did the other. This is the part I'm doing a little different than before. Uh, the way Tiffin had done it and the way I had followed was a uh, bigger the blob, better the job approach and just gushed it into these, this part of the channel. Um, but that prevented it from curing 100%. It stayed gooey in some places. So I'm hoping that just running a rail or a bead right up against the rail here on this one side will still allow it to seal but and allow it to cure that's my hope
another two short screws for this. Dab of silicone on the screw holes. And a little more on the screw holes, or on the screws heads around the holes, and then a little bit more ahead to there. Just a wee bit through here. So those are good, I hope, I think. And I need to put the ones for the wall brackets. That will be a very similar tact. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and place the screw hole dabs. Just in the urge to seal a little around the outside. Hello. Uh, yeah, before too long. So this one doesn't have any holes, so that's going to be the one for the back wall. This is going to be the top, and that's the bottom. Yep. Okay. All right, I'm back. My lovely assistant. Yes. Oh, and I forgot my drink. Uh-oh. Oh, back up, babies. Back up. All right. This one, you'll probably be able to see more of me applying the silicone because I'm going to be doing it in here because the thing is just way no, too no. big. No, no, kitty. And I'm going ahead and putting the... Uh, glass spacer blocks in before I forget them and try to have them so they're not blocking yep okay good <laughs> not blocking a weep hole 
Oh, I need to apply some silicone to these screw holes. I'm actually here, guys. I just... She's still alive. I'm still alive. I'm recently fed. I had to do a little taste test. Oh, and how was it? This is awesome. Is there only two screw holes on this side? I guess so. This side there's three, and that side there's two for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, all right. Augusto said the only young that he has are dogs. That that counts completely. Absolutely. That's all we have: dogs, cats. Once had uh, iguanas, fish, snails, snails, puffer fish that ate the snails. Yeah. And, and then big snails that the puffer fish couldn't eat. Yeah. Didn't stop them from stocking them though. No. Can you hold this to keep it from sliding away from me? This part? Yep. Watch it. Yep. There you go. Danke. Pita. Helps me go a lot faster. They, um, Carabas has a seasoning that they put on a plate with some olive oil that you dip your bread in. And, uh, they sent some extra of that, so I sprinkled it on my broccoli. Ooh. Well, that's what's sprinkled on the broccoli. Yeah, but I got extra. Oh. Aren't you special? Yep. I also melted You're some butter. You're letting it twist on me. Danke. Get the... Do you need me to come closer? Or... No. Okay. I'm just trying not to touch yep. stickiness. So I told David I was going to be doing this today. He said, well, you can do it. He said, it just make you take a lot longer to get it done. I, aside from the initial setup. I, yeah, I don't think it did. I don't think it's really taken me any longer. Yeah. Well, you haven't really been a uh, on-air personality. You've just been getting your stuff done and going on about it. Yeah. Red Jack says there should be four screws on each rail. Aha, they are not. They are definitely not. And actually, I'm missing a few screws right now. They fall into the sink? No. Did you put them on a... There, no. Are they the long ones? They're... Oh. Yeah, I should have used the long ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There long are the long ones. For ones. The wall. Yep, yep, okay. yep. Yep, yep. Not missing any. Just forgot that I'm at the spot where I need the long ones. All right. You need that? I just need it to not touch. Yeah. I need to rotate it so I can put these in. Which way is top? Uh, my side is top. Okay. Can you uh, hand me the screw gun? Yeah. Eesh. I would make a joke about a loose screw, but do you need uh, more light? Nope, I just need to slide that down in there. Kidoki. I have the uh, the stream up in the living room on the TV, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could. Uh,
so I could keep track of your my stories well not your stories I've got it muted but so when you needed to pick up the glass I could ah. come in and keep an eye meanwhile enjoying a tasty beverage and a meal okay now this one nine viewers are dropping like flies yeah getting into the home stretch now everybody's going home yep now i gotta okay so that mm. now i gotta figure out which one goes which way on this ah do we go this way okay goes that way so this side gets the goop so this is the way it needs to be oriented. I'm honestly surprised that we were in the double digits for so long. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I don't know. I guess we got our diehards out there. Hang on. I it was pushing in the yep. middle. Tonka. <clears throat> it just tickles me because I don't think we're that interesting. I think that's the way most YouTubers are, most successful YouTubers. There are those that are ham hounds that think they're. Yeah, we don't watch them though. No. I can't tell if it's closing or opening. It's closing. You need me to come closer to keep it from pushing away? No. Nope. Oh, shit. You okay? Me. Yeah, I just... I know. <laughs> you didn't know your own strength. No, I didn't. I'm like... Here. Really feels like there should be a third screw hole. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hand me the silicone. Don't cushion. Get that. Lost again. There it is. I see your little paw nims. They're all sitting okay. there when I came in. Uh, so. Hold this up here like this until I get the screws in it. Mm -hmm. Donka. Beta. So Red Jag, there are three in each on mine. And need some alcohol in that to get the smush in Nah, out. that's fine. You're not gonna get the smush in Oh, out? okay, well that one, yeah. That one and that one. And there's one down there. Yep. So all the smushes. <sighs> what time did we start? Oh, a long time ago. Hey, we're back up to 10. Yay, double digits. Actually, only eight because the TV is on and the tablet oh, is on. Oh, okay. So it's just eight of y'all. So we've got been live for three hours and 42 minutes. Feels like an eternity. Yup. Okay, so. I gotta start cleaning the glass and then putting it back. Um, I guess I can start with this one. Holy shnikes. All right, I'm gonna have to vacuum the glass, so right. I'm gonna mute. I know it's thrilling, you're gonna miss all my commentary, but here we go.
And we're back. Hola. Before I, I should have put this in before I put that second thing down, uh, but I forgot. Luckily, it's beveled enough that I can get it snapped into place. Just like that. Yay. Um, let me try to clean off the bottom real quick. Oh, I probably could have done that before I got sidetracked with all the goop. That's alright. I think the uh, immediate fee, the first delivery fee that I paid, uh -huh. the um, when I first got the notice that the order was being picked up, it was being picked up by somebody completely different, and then it went blank, and then somebody else picked it up and said, you know, huh. so and so will deliver it. So I'm guessing they looked at it and went, nah, <laughs> <laughs> not going that far. No. Yeah, when we first started coming to Vegas, there wasn't really anything out here where this motor coach is. The motor coach was here. The resort. Uh, the resort was here. Um, town Square or Town Center was just starting to be built. So let's focus on this for a yep. minute. Sure. Um, I'm going to need three screws. Mm. Oh. Actually, I can go ahead and put a fourth one in and a fifth one in right now that are in the bottom. Excuse me. Okay. Now these three and that one. So once I get it put in place, I'll have you holding the door to keep it upright. Right. it in at the top there we go pull it out at the bottom Is that enough? almost there we go okay and one last one Uh, and hand me a paper towel if you would. You can turn this loose now. Watch it. It's coming at you. Mm -hmm. Just getting a little squidge out in here. <sighs> All right, that one's in. clean yep no big deal so now the we need a glass clean. yep you want a razor yep
Any more chats? Uh, Augusto and Red Jag are talking about police stuff. And then Red Jag says, Augusto, that's why I don't have a lot of time to edit and put up blogs the way I would like to for his channel. Yeah, editing takes a lot of focus and work and... That's why we just live stream. Yeah, we just live stream. <laughs> One take, that's it. Yeah. And that way we're actually doing you a service because we're not expecting Patreons or anybody to pay to get the blooper reel. You just yeah. get it live and it's all good. Not that I begrudge anyone who can make a living on YouTube. No, it's it's an absolute dream, but there's it's well, not magic. That's a lot of It's hard a lot work. of work, yeah. I guess a lot of people when uh, the pandemic really started to settle in, people started YouTube channels left and right and then getting disappointed because, well, I don't have a million followers. And the people that have a million followers have been doing it quite a long time. Whew. Shout out to Answers with Joe, who just hit a million followers. Yeah. If y'all don't follow Joe, Joe Scott, is that his last name? Answers yeah. Yeah. You're missing out. Yep. He's got a really good channel. And his TMI channel is also really good. Which yeah, is... his TMI digs into, like, just day-to-day -day things that affect him and others around him. It's more of a personal vlog than a... Yeah. All right, so which way do I need to be? Um, I'm trying to find the magic eraser I had earlier. Uh, it's in the sink, maybe? Maybe. Oh, man, I need to refinish these wood pieces. Yep, it's in the sink. Uh, By the soap dispenser in the back. Danke. Bitte. So I seem to recall last time I stepped in the shower. So you could put the L bracket thing in. That's... No, that, I mean, that's after the fact. That's, okay. the big part will be putting in the glass itself. That, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I was in the shower helping keep it upright. But mm. I don't remember. It's been... It's been a couple years. Yeah, it's been a minute. Which is good, because I don't want to have to do this all the darn time. Nope. Okay, paper towel, please. Um, there, yep. yep. Sorry, I'm trying to stay out of the way. That's okay. Um, you're going to need to go back here in this corner. Alrighty. Behind you. Yep. Oh. Oh. Hips don't fail me now. That is the exterior. Alright, I need you to hold that corner so that I can bring it out enough. shower or no? No. There we go. Like homemade taste. It's in there? It's in there. getting excited thinking we're almost done but then we gotta make the bed well yeah that's after the stream yeah it's after the stream but it's not it's using up spoons for sure yep hello that'll wake you up And 
if you would bring me that L bracket piece. Mm -hmm. Flipped over. Yep, right like that. Oh, sorry. It's okay. There we go. Now all I gotta do is put some screws in it. It's gonna be all these little ones, if you wouldn't mind uh, feeding them to me. Yep. Actually, I might be able to get them all in my hand. Yep. Okay. All right. Almost got this licked. Augusta gave us a thumbs up. Yeah, we're Yay. almost done. Home stretch. I'm gonna need the uh, screwdriver for the back one here. Phillips? Yep. Okay. Danke. Bitte. Ooh. I got the yawn on camera. Can you push against this? Mm -hmm. Danke. Bitte. I should, I should get the little short stubby one, but say, let me hold that for me for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't go. I'm worried I almost put my foot in the fresh silicone. Oh, yeah, that'd have been bad. That'd have been bad, okay? Okay. I hear you. We have a captive audience. And not just on YouTube? No. Okay. I keep seeing kitty paws coming under the door. All right, so that's it. Aside from stuffing the rubber back in the crevices, which is not really that exciting. Not that any of this was exciting. <laughs> has been exciting. Gazoon hizzle. Danke. Um, so yeah, the rest of this is uh, on the, there's two different thicknesses of this. If you can hand me one of the thick ones. <clears throat> Danke. So there's two different thicknesses, if you can see this. Um, yep, okay, so this thin stuff goes vertically uh, because the channels on the vertical side are really thin. And then this thick stuff goes along the horizontals at the bottom and top. Um, and there's actually a profile to it. Let me turn this off. Uh, the profile is thinner it doesn't go as thick on one side and it has more of a taper. So that's the side you stuff into the crevice and then there's a little notch and the lip of that H channel locks into that notch to hold the rubber in place. And doing it on one side is really, really easy. Then when you switch to the other side and you start cramming it in there, it is super, super tight because it's pushing against this and the glass against the far side to be able to get down in there. So. Um, and I think at that point, or at this point, we're going to go ahead and kill the stream. Yeah. Um, this should close. Hey, hey. Yay. Uh, lots of boogies from the Yeah, lots of there. silicone clean stuff we'll have to clean up. But anyway, uh, hey, thanks for sticking around with us. Can't believe that many people watched <laughs> us. Um, but uh, yeah, hey, yeah. here we are. And we love y'all. Yep. Appreciate Thanks you. Thanks very much, everybody, and we will see you on the next live stream or post or something or other. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye. Later. Bye.